This is FTC! All right, what's up, everybody? Closeo here, joined by Seth. What's up, buddy? What's going on, man? I'm really excited for having DNF Duel here at the local. Yeah, uh, our first, uh, well, I don't know if uh, LK has had any um, DNF streams. This is my first DNF stream. Well, you had Super Saturdays, we right? We did have Super yeah, Saturdays. Yeah. It was a free bracket, so there was a lot of different people that came to, you know, come up and try everything out. Uh, no Lost Warrior players, so I guess we had nothing to worry about today. Because <laughs> so, our machines definitely don't have all the Lost Warriors. Oh, stuff yeah, yet. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I at least, like, sort of got, like, the, the speedrun strats a little bit. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I'm mad. I, I did my normal, like, unlock all the songs. Uh, and then I found out that you can't pick them from Versus. Like, it's yeah. just so you can listen to them in gallery mode. Yeah, I know. that There's, like, some, like, ease of accessibility stuff that's, like, you know, it's not, like, four player stuff. Like, I, I wish that you were more stages, more stages, more songs and stuff like that. One sec. I'm gonna go figure out the other stream. Oh yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. Go help out, Dom. I'll be right back. All right. Are there are there any are there any big Willy lovers? That's a good question. Any any fans of this guy in the chat? Damn, he is out out. I just checked the camera like a couple minutes ago. He was doing fine. Anyways, uh, we're waiting on them to get our first match up here. Let me see who we got. Uh, 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 I think we're going to have Kizzer Crate and Crimson first. Some really good players in this bracket. Uh, ooh, uh, because of the way the seeding worked out, I mean, it's a local weekly, right? Uh, so our first round winners has Mars playing someone, uh, and if he wins, he's going to have to play the arm as the arm's first match. Great Fern Man is in the bracket. Uh, audio, of course, uh, one of our better Guilty Gear players I can see. Kizzer Cray, uh, myself, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, we'll see. I have some cool combos with Crusader, but I do I do think I'm uh, pretty whack at this game so far. This is, this is definitely not a Callisto game. This game's a little Wild West for my taste. All right. Yeah, thanks, Alex. I had the most old man birthday yesterday. My work phone blew up at like 3.45 in the morning. All right, so it looks like we're going to have Shenanigans XX up against Rock and Rollback first. Let's see if I can fix this camera a little. It is hella dark in here. I'm hoping there's no audio just because it's at like the windscreen from when I was playing casuals. Like, I don't hear the game sound right now. Streaming might be a blow up. All right. I think we have some game audio there. First round winners match. Looks like we got a Dragonite on P2 side and a Berserker. Oh no, I'm sorry, Striker. I thought I saw a Dragonite in there. Uh, GBS. Uh, Grand Blue is honestly chilling. I've been playing uh, this for the last like week or two. I actually just got started playing Grand Blue again the other day. Kind of cooking, not gonna lie. Just feeling myself a little bit. Yeah, this game's hella loud. Let me know if the balance sounds good, like, with the mics and the game audio. This game is actually mad loud. This is, like, uh, on a scale from 1 to 10, this game's about blaze blue loud. All right, so shenanigans on the Berserker. Uh, you know, really popular character. Uh, definitely kind of kind of the aggro Shoto-ish, right? Like, everyone's sort of a Shoto in this game if, you, if you're using that, like, uh, Shoto alignment chart. Uh, pretty much everybody has some form of, you know, everyone has a DP, uh, everyone has an advancing tack. Most characters have like some form of projectile, uh, except the Striker's case, the projectile's kind of herself. 
two very mobile characters. Yeah, and there's the vacuum. Very difficult move to deal with. Catches you on a ground and puts you in a full standing combo. And there's the instant overhead. A little bit of drop on the combo, but rock and roll back. Recollects the hit. Can he finish it? No, just shy. Left Berserker in Awakening. Spent the Grey Life on MP and runs into a button. Round one going to rock and roll back here. Oh, nice clip on the shoulder tackle. Runs into the DP, though. Damn, Berserker DP throws you super far. Why are all these DPs so good? I'm going to do my best. I'm not, I'm not going to downplay Inquisitor this whole stream. I'm going to downplay Inquisitor most of the stream, but not all of it. I can't believe it, dude. Oh my Inquisitor God. players dude, are Dude, I just criminal. saw it. So when Berserker lands a DP, it throws them like half. Look, look how far she lands. Oh, yeah. You know where they land it as Inquisitor? Right in front of your that's face. perfect. No, that's it's exactly not. She has the slowest want. buttons in the world. What do you mean, <laughs> dude? It's still a hella advantage. It's oh, actually not. Her throw is hella advantage. Uh, is uh, advantage. I take that back. Her throw is plus five, but relative to throw advantage in this game, that is hella advantage. This is a... <laughs> oh, my... <laughs> <laughs> All right, game one going to rock and roll back here. Yeah, Aaron sitting in his chair just laughing. This is definitely the kind of character for him, knowing where the games that he comes from. And Blaze Blue and, and Tag, he's definitely very, very fitting on the, the fast, super hyperactive punch girl. But shenanigans, finding the hit that he wants. Oh, my God. Oh, nice route. I like this. Yeah. Solid 40% right off the gate. Yeah. And importantly, he got the MP move. He got the D normal like really late. So it stripped all the gray health. Oh, you and I are going to be fighting about using S and M versus C and D. Oh yeah, I, I use ABCD, but I also use Blaze Blue layout. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah I also use the Blaze Blue layout. And I I did. I was using uh, I was using LMS uh, M uh, or LMS M MP I think or whatever. But yeah, but yeah yeah. yeah yeah yeah. As soon as I was also not using the Blaze Blue layout though. I was using box layout to start. That's weird. And <laughs> that's. Box layout players are built different, just like, I don't know, man. For some reason, I thought, I thought that was the way it was meant to be, and then I try. Oh, wow, yeah, DP or DP? Oh, that's wild. Yeah, because if you treat MS like it's drive, you know? It's yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it made more it was, I was talking to the arm, and then the arm explained his button layout to me, and then I was like, oh, it's Blaze Blue. I get it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You, you know, I think my only gripe about the controls in this game I would have rather, especially, what the fuck, Berserker? He just DP'd himself uh, into the corner. I don't like how your super is not like invulnerable. Like I get the, the easy one button super, right. but it's an entire button dedicated to one move that you can only use below 30% health. Yes, it is I not even invulnerable. I would have rather it be some sort of input or you can hit all four buttons to do it like uni or something uh -huh. and then have a, a dash button like strive. I think that would have been way better because the dash buffer in this game is like not mega forgiving in my opinion. Yeah. I don't, I don't mind it being tied to its own button because I can see, like, you know, in, in clutch situations, it's nice to have that removed where it's like, oh, my God, he missed It's more that I, I would rather have a button that I would use all the time other than an entire button dedicated to one sometimes situational move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, in CF, Ooh, it's, more slide. Less, in CF it's more or less just like you use the main four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, only use, you, you only use five and six as like macros. Where right. this, this is a six-button game, right? Yeah. Sort of. I mean, it is because they're all necessary. It like. is. Uh, I just think the rolls are really whack, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, man. Dude, the rolls have so much recovery in this well, game. They do, but it's like the rolls are they're very deliberate. The way that you want to use rolls yeah, is yeah, extremely yeah. deliberate. They're like specific. Specific punishes for specific moves. Right. Oh my god. He just cannot clear that gore cross. And oh, punish with the twister. Okay. <laughs> All right, shenanigans. Tying it up. All right. Aaron sitting in his chair yelling as he does. And something I like what that shenanigans is doing is he kept ending up with very small amounts of gray life. Yeah. And he was burning the conversion to keep frame advantage really often. I, I, I like that. Uh, yeah. It's weird. Like, for me, playing Inquisitor, I think her li her life is low enough that I usually would prefer the the gray health to try to get more back. Oh, this is gonna be a big punish. Yeah, this is probably the punish. Yeah, oh, accidental no. DP, but oh. Yeah, I think he wasn't oh, in range. Oh, okay, that's a good move to get it. Yeah. He didn't have like the right starter to be able to make it a big yeah. punish. Yeah. But he's got him in the corner, and this is extremely scary against him. Nice, didn't block the high low, and now he might. Yeah, Berserker actually one of not many characters that have like real high low mix. This is. A lot of the pressure in this game is sort of similar to Strive, like a lot of delay cancel ch games of chicken. Uh, Berserker, though, I mean, he has real 
you know, conversion into instant overhead or, yeah. you know, fake it, go for the low. It's definitely because of his uh, his accessibility to conversion, because most characters will have that instant overhead mix, or they'll have, like, a lot of different dirt within conversion, but because he, Berserker can use it as freely as he wants. Yeah, because he has that install that, that just continually, you can see it there, it's just building gray life, right? Yeah. And then he's allowed to use those small amounts, because normally... You gotta use conversion with whatever gray life you have, which if you just ate a fat combo, might be a lot. Right, exactly. Oh, uh, that was a clutch jump, but didn't get the full punish. Okay, nice. Oh, the trade on the dive kick. Oh, oh that's a dead. big starter. Yeah. He must be dead here. I well, think so. If he can, no, he can route into super, yes. Okay, sick. Yeah, there it is. It, it would have OTG'd as well. I know that if you let the string go on for way too long, then it can actually push you out of the super range, but shenanigans kept it short and sweet. Followed your advice, just hit him with the super. <laughs> when yeah. it's going to kill, just hit it. When they're below, like, 20%, I'm not even looking for combos. I'm trying to do 5L into super. Oh, that, yeah. That's all I'm trying to Dude, do. Just one button. Dragon Knight has baby mode conversion into super because it's immediate after 2 and 4M. Like, uh, she can just do it, like... That is my favorite part about Inquisitor, is her 5L combos into super from mad far, yeah. from like yeah. across the screen. So you can just whip punish something with a single button. You're like, oh, you died. Cool. I like, mean, everything combos from 5A, <laughs> like from mad far. Not not the uh, punishable ass 6C. Oh, OK. So woo, we are going to have a, oh, yeah. uh, a big stars. match. Yeah, they need me to play. I'm going to get this set up for you if you can hold it down for a second. But yeah. we're going to have the arm coming up against Mars. I need to go either win or lose very quickly because I actually want to see this match. You're playing Inquisitor, man. I I, I, I believe in you. Yeah. In all honesty, no, you're, no, no, you're no, downplaying no. your character, which is like justified, but I think you're I think you're right, great. though. Between her high damage and low health, you are correct that one way or another, the match is going to end real quick. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So here we go. Callisto's stepping off. I'm going to be taking over the stream here. Yeah, we've got the Arm, who's a striker player, as you saw previously on stream. Uh, he won Super Saturday's Deluxe. And we've got Mars here, grappler player, which is going to be really, really exciting to see uh, because they're both like very close range fighters, and it's very like scary for them to. Hold on, there we go. I'm gonna get this in there. For you. It's gonna be really scary for them to like try to make approaches towards each other, considering like the obstacles or the things that they can kind of like throw out and buffer into, make it very, very scary for both of them to try to approach. So I'm gonna see how this matchup goes. Because this is not a matchup that we get to see very often here, uh, or we haven't seen very much in the Midwest because we don't have a lot of grappler players. We really just have Mars and uh, I don't know, we got maybe like one or two more. But okay, here we go. Like theorizing how this is gonna go, it's more or less just like Mars wants to kind of see what he's gonna try to put through, but there it is. Mars finds the button. Tried to go for the overhead, meaty as hell, but now armed with the pickup. Oh wow, space is dive kick so it wouldn't get punished. One inch punch. So the thing is about teching in this game is that you can come down with the button if you need. Nice using that conversion to keep yourself safe. Oh man, this could be big. He might be dead here, ironically. Fully charged. Yeah. Oh, he's not dead. Oh, keep it safe. No, no one's punished but the trade. Arm shaking his head. Okay, I like the patience that's coming out from Mars, knowing that like Striker is extremely active, right? Oh wow, the slide into the pickup, one inch punch. Just bringing him into the corner, getting that damage. Kind of inexpensive too, one inch punch doesn't cost a lot. Oh wow. Pick up two. We're gonna take him into the air. Cut that out. Nice. Blocking the triple overhead. Oh man, there's gonna be a lot of damage. He's still living though. DP, wow, he's just spending it. And now he just in exhaustion. He's gonna be in exhaustion for a while. Oh my god. Mars, you just got smixed! Yo, he got mixed. That was pretty tight. Man was not blocking. I wonder if he was gonna try to armor out of that situation. Instead he should have just held that slide with the punish. There's another thing too, is that Striker is going to be able to punish you from ranges like really deceptively far because of that slide and into the reverse beat from it. Into the exhaustion now. Oh, he's got to take this moment. No punish, but he's out of the corner. Oh, the DP. And the, the thing is like he can't, he can't extend that, right, with the Tatsu because he's just got to sit. He's not going to be able to turn around. Mars now, once again. Oh, didn't block. Passive is active though. Oh no, this 
is gonna be humongous damage. Oh! That was a really, that could have been a favorable trade. Oh man. All right, Arm taking game one in the set. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be like a first to two game throughout its lifetime. I don't see it, uh, realistically, I don't see it getting um, to first to three status. This game can be kind of long. Because most of the stuff that people would think that it needs to be first to three four, like it doesn't happen until you're in Awakening anyway. Mars now taking his turn back, now that Arm is in. Oh no! It was a counter hit. Wow, he just saw him take to the sky and then immediately hit him with the... Immediately hit him with the DP. I like that Mars used the guard cancel a little bit earlier because that's going to be very important to this matchup. Striker can block string you. Everybody's seen the Twitter clips. This character can block string your guard, your guard gauge to death. Seemingly gapless. And there it goes. Guard break. And he actually could be dead here. No. Yeah, there's this to pick up. Off the low kick. Okay. Mars has been playing most of this match in the corner, and now it is. I mean, it gets a character that's like hyper active. It's so hard to block against this stuff. You're just really down backing, and you have to like conserve your MP as much as possible. DP coming out. Oh, wow. Nice bait coming out from Arm. Oh, but he drops. Oh, but he's still hit with the overhead. Oh, nice. And the Tatsu and the pickup. There we go. All right, the arm taking it. Two zero over Mars. What's up, what's up, what's up? I just O2'd in DNF, bro. Oh. All right, Dostro coming on to the mic here. Oh, that's, that's a tad loud. Can you? Yeah, you want me to turn it down for you? Just a little bit. I got you, man. Sorry, sorry about that. Seal Vu play. How is this? Did that turn anything down? That turned nothing down for me. Okay, hang on. I'm going to get back on it. How about this? Nope. No, nothing? Not yet, okay. not yet. How about this? Oh, that's me. Oh, keep, keep fiddling with them switches, bro. How's this? Uh, not yet. And this? Oh, yes, yes. There, right, there, there we go, go there we go, there we go. All right, sick, sick, sick. All right, looks like we have Great Fern Man, right? Yep, yeah, Great Fern Man. Sorry oh, they're rocking the Berserker now? Yeah. They uh, were on Troubleshooter last week. Shenanigans on uh, Berserker. Great Fern Man is probably still going to be on Troubleshooter. I see the confusion now. Um, yeah, let me see. Yeah. Oh, he's on Swiftmaster. That's what it is. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm going to get you set up. You can solo comm. And then uh, there we go. All right. So it looks like Green Fern Man on the Swiftmaster. Shenanigans on Zerk. Dostro, I'm going to go play my match. I'll be right back. Coastal should be back. Best of luck to you, fine sir. This is our first DNF bracket here at FGC Meetup. Solid, solid crowd going. Uh, a lot of people still figuring out the game, me included, because I freaking suck here. But let's see how how, uh, how these players get a hold of things. Oh, are you starting off with a big hit? The full charge tap, the turnaround punch, that mock punch. Huge damage. Safe jump setup. Great Fern Man getting this. Pressure just eating it and shenanigans moving super quickly right now with a character that loves to move fast. They got caught in the trap too. Oh, didn't have the full turnaround punch there, so they just got the 2B whiff. But great Fern Man starting to get their game plan started. They're in Awakening. This is where Berserker starts to get scary because every hit gets a little bit recovered, but they got guard canceled. They didn't use the conversion to see what was going on. The conversion just got stuffed out. Shenanigans with a solid hold of that first round here. Great Furman had no opportunity to get started, but we're punishing the 5B, that fantastic jumping B from Great Furman. OTG got the, oh, the pillar. We messed up that 2B doesn't easily connect when that high of hit stun going on already. We took the corner because Swiftmaster be doing that sometimes. Ooh, big setup, big setup. This is huge damage. 
for shenanigans here. We're joined by our lovely streamer, Callisto. Callisto, how you doing, man? Yeah, I'm back. I, I cooked. I cooked. We're in there. No, it was an Inquisitor mirror, so everyone was just exploding left and right. So I, I just O2'd myself. I'm having a lot of fun, though, because this game is buck wild. Yeah, this, is, this game's a little wild for me. I definitely... Uh, <laughs> this is definitely a game I will play with my friends. I don't think I'm going to be entering any world tours for this, for sure. Yeah, I know... You're real big on the Grand Blue Fantasy, so this yeah. is on the surface. It's like, oh yeah, this looks like Grand Blue, but no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm trying to play a little bit of Ground and Neutral, uh, and nobody else wants to. Absolutely this, nobody. This game is not honest. <laughs> this is you don't you do not play honest neutral honest combos here in DNF. Shenanigans rocking that huge portion of Gray Life. Berserk really loves to rock it up. I'm pretty sure the names are swapped, actually. Uh, I'm not sure who, who is up a game, though. Might be Shenanigans, uh, but yeah. The Switch she Master is up a game. Though. Okay, okay, yeah. So Fern Man's up a game. Yeah, Shenanigans was uh, on Berserker before, and Great Fern Man definitely likes the cheapies. Well, so I saw Great Fern Man oh, last week. At, Great Fern Man last week at Super Saturdays was Rocket Troubleshooter. Oh. Okay, so maybe it is uh, maybe it is shenanigans on the SM here. Oh, disrespect! Just rock that 2M there. Yeah, Great Burn Man is just one of those players that really has the kind of eye for the GPs early in a game. He definitely has a really good handle on like what are the strong tactics, who are the strong characters. And for, there's a lot of stuff that you can do with Berserker. Berserker has really easy access to the conversion mechanic, which I think is really just something that can open the game wide up, and Berserker and Troubleshooter both sort of have access yeah. to it. Yeah. Troubleshooter has the drink, and Berserker has the frenzy. We were talking about that earlier. I, I, like, I'm too spooked to use conversion, because I have Inquisitor HP is just too low. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's, that, she's that, made of glass. She also has no like high-low mix or anything. If she had an overhead or something, maybe, but there, there's no mix to be gained from it. Yeah, she plays the neutral pretty well, it seems. It, it's weird neutral. It, yeah. Uh, uh, now that I know how to pick up off of like the the Molotov, it, it's better. But her normals are cheeks. <laughs> her like oh, actual yeah. normals, they're, they're the slowest in the game and very stubby. And then you got all these characters like Berserker with the the six frame, and, you know, five A. Like. Oh yeah. Two quick ones for our Swift Master player. Yeah, we'll we'll get a confirmation. Uh, who's who when we're back? Uh, let's see. Damn, they're actually, this is weird. Uh, they're kind of burning through the bracket, which is surprising because it's actually kind of a slow game, like slower than you would expect. It is, uh, I believe, we're running it first to two at the very least. Yes, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not, people, I think, are still figuring it out. Ever since, like, Guilty Gear's Drive dropped, people want, like, give us the first to three, right? That we want to play the game more. And it's a wild game, so people like assume that it should also be that. What's up? You need me? Okay. All right. Carfax versus Callisto on stream. Looks like it. Carfax got third place, I think. I want to say at Super Saturdays, they were the Swift Master player that had the messed up setup and playing on the GameCube controller. I think. Okay. So like three, three steps through. That a little. Alrighty. Our Lord and Savior Callisto mentioned that they were on the Inquisitor earlier. So we'll have to see what's going on. Oh, Large William Callisto. I didn't even notice that. Let's go. Grand William. Guillaume Gros, Guillermo Grande. Setting up our buttons. I know how to work the scores. Callisto, I know how to work the scores. Like, you know how to work the scores? Yes, it's not hard. Like, you, you just change the number there and hit the save button. Oh, then it's easy. Rick McSick joining me here on commentary. What's up? How are you doing, Rick? I'm doing all right. You been playing much DNF? Absolutely not. This game's wild, though. So yeah. It's, it's, it's hilarious to watch. I've watched enough streams where I understand that um, 
If you're not picking who you think is the funniest character in this game, you're losing probably. I mean, there's a lot of silliness to be had. Yeah. All right, I got to go play my Guilty Gear. Ooh, we got some Guilty Gear matches. I think we need somebody else on this commentary. Block. Sorry, excuse me. I am the uh, Chicago resident drunkard. We're going to see some Inquisitor versus some Swift Master. The things I do know about this game, I know Swift Master is absolutely bussing. I know Inquisitor uh, has not as much health as everybody else. Actually, both of these characters. They both have like 900 or something like that. Ooh, Carfax versus Callisto. I wonder uh, if Callisto actually has mix. That's, that, that's what I'm wondering, because I know a lot of people's complaints about this character was, does this character have mix or not? And uh, right off the bat, he's getting absolutely smoked. There has to be some kind of set off up, or set up after this, right? All right, sets up the tornadoes, block this, cry about it. Are you dead? You're not dead, right? No way this does like 50%. That'd be really funny there. Alright, block. Alright, guard cancel. Cost 100 mana. Now you're out. Mink, mink, mink. Love that. Love that for you. And you didn't take your turn, so you're crying about it. That is round one going to Carfax. Could... Could he have punished that DP uh, combo extender from that far on Wake Up? Who knows? Not me. No air blocking in this. Nice back throw. Now you're in the corner. Put the oil on him. Put the oil on him again. No instant overhead because that is cringe and it doesn't work on everybody. Probably. And you got suck. That is game one. Going to Carfax. Alright, alright. And it's looking kinda like the same thing for game or for round two. No, never mind. Game two. Zomp again. Set yourself up with the tornado. DP punish. Bam, 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 bam. A side switch. Do I see a side switch coming in the future or not? No, it's setting up the oil. Nice guard cancel. Lock these tornadoes. I'm plus from all the way over here and you gotta cry about it. Take these plus frames, take this mix. You try to press a button and your button was way too slow. I like that, pressing right through the round start. Finally pressing something on round start. And the mash on wake up, you're sitting up into the tornadoes, no DP punish this time. Bam, bam, block these tornadoes, block these tornadoes. What is up, we got Seth on commentary. How you doing, brother? What's up, goon? How are you, dog? All You've right. been playing this game? I've been playing the hell out of I this know, game. This I know. This is a Seth game if I've ever seen it before. <laughs> I don't know what that means. All you right. know... <laughs> what does that mean? What is a, what is a Seth game? Like, uh, not real. Waifus? No, it's kind of ass. All right, all right, all right. So anyway, <laughs> I'm Callisto. I'm messing with you. <laughs> I'm messing with you. <laughs> Dude, all right. So Callisto criminally downplaying this character, but we can see... Inquisitor? Inquisitor. You think Qu Inquisitor is nasty? Hell yeah! You think I she's think she's got that. You I think, think she's, she's got so that saucy, dude. I think this character. Right, here's. You know what? I'll be honest. I'll, I'll tell you what it is with Inquisitor, because it, like Swiftmaster, this character takes a lot of work, and the reward is like, all right, yeah, that's pretty good. But with I, Inquisitor, the reward is massive, bro, and she I, gets so much like from every place. On the the thing is, where are you getting that reward? What do you mean? Where, where are you? Where are you hitting Swiftmaster? 
He's making you block stuff from hash screen. He's plus off of his tornadoes from hash screen. And then oh he gets yeah, for run sure. Ups after the, the Virgil sword everything. shit. Yeah. Both of these characters are 900 health. Yeah. Guard canceling. Uh, 850. 850. 850. They're, they're, yeah, they're yeah. My babies. bad. My bad. And that's gonna they're be a too long. Carfax. Let me get this bum back onto the commentary setup. What's happening? Well, that was impossible. So I, I'll admit, that matchup is terrible. <laughs> yeah. That's terrible because this is why I say Inquisitor, look what I'm fucking dealing with, right? I that's, can't. that's also, that's a problem with him. That's not a problem with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the problem with me is that she can't do that. The other characters could be like, oh, well, the neutral's done. Let's just fucking put up a windshield and dive on in. Look. No, he right. played pretty good. He actually had some really yeah. sick conversions on point and everything. So it's okay. I got I got my one good combo. We're in there. Yeah, Carfax made fourth, I want to say, or, or tied for fifth last week uh, for Super Saturdays. So, you know, no slouch there. He plays a very, like, very consistent and yeah. like, impressive Swift Master. Yeah, the it, thing it, is, with, with Inquisitor, it's like you're not going to be able to, like, comfortably throw stuff out on screen like Molotov. You literally can't push buttons. His buttons, can't, are, yeah. his buttons are, like, literally full. half the Dude. startup of hers, but double the range. Nine frame... 5B full screen, basically. You know what? You know what's not nine frames? Any Inquisitor normal. None of them. They're all at least ten. <laughs> Look, all right. Because their reward is crazy. If they were nine frames, they'd the be. Did you see what I got? Did blocked. you see what I got hit for off of the the fucking nine frame 5B? Yeah, the you the know, same amount of damage. Trust me, Calista. When you optimize this character, you're you're gonna be saying like. No, no, know, no. I, I agree. I think she does hella damage. I just don't think that damage is like a lacking thing. No, I don't in think it's damage. Game. I, I don't think it's damage. I think it's the fact that she like her she corner carry is wild. Is do coast to coast. Off of 5A. Like, come on, man. She's crazy. It, you have to get that, though. You have to earn that. Off right. a counter hit 5A, specifically. So we are... I mean, you can get her off regular 5A. I, I okay. have those. It's just... It doesn't matter, because everyone's <laughs> button is better than her 5A. That's kind of true. <laughs> Not it. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I mean, go, go play neutral with this Go play footsies with this character against these... Look at... Against these war, against these war two? crimes of character. Yeah, these two are not good examples of Yeah. It. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is probably no, 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 the worst go. example. Go go go! Try to five A anything Crusader does. This is this is probably the top two, in my opinion. Yeah, uh, the arm definitely will make Striker seem like it is never your turn against no. her. His his pressure is very clean, very focused. Yeah. Crusader though, Librarian Garen sh uh, Ganon rather showing off. Ooh, there's the armor baited it out though. Trumple. Yeah, we got double. Nice. Yeah, puffball combos. Puffball. <laughs> it is essentially. Nice, already has him in the corner. He's got the life to be able yeah. to withstand this. But the thing is, even though he has Ooh, a 100 meter yes. nice overhead. So this is, and the arm is actually pretty pretty outspoken about this. I think a lot of people, uh, if they don't consider Striker the best, I think a lot of people do think Crusader is the best because his wild options, but from everywhere, he has some very, very clear bad matchups. Because of his size, uh, a character like Striker, you saw the fuzzy. Uh, multiple characters can instant overhead him, can fuzzy him, lock him in a block stun, put him in a gross mix-up. But that interaction is what makes that character really messed yeah. up. Is the fact that he'll pop her Meteos, he'll do the loops, you know what I'm saying, the 2B loops, and you'll think, all right, so I just got to roll through this and grab him to get rid of that shield. But Librarian Ganon was, like, super ready for that, had the throw response, yeah. and that's what makes him really strong. But like you said, Arm, have, in this Whoa, situation, look how far there it is. she was and got the instant overhead Exactly. Still. So, yeah. like, that, like, there are characters like, like, uh, Kunoichi, like, Striker, like, uh, Dragon Knight. Uh, clutch, jump timing. Oh, it, Ooh, Ooh, a great Ooh. cancel on the DP. The arm really heads up there. Do you think he hit from that? Do you think that he saw that the DP wasn't coming out? And he, oh, man. No, no, I will say no because that's what I'm used to seeing. When the DP doesn't work out, he usually does the air one. The fact yeah. that he wasn't off the ground yet and just let it go. This might be a dead striker oh, here, Oh, he's though. definitely a dead striker. A super doesn't yeah. do, like, as much damage as, like, grapplers or anything like that, but it's still, it's still hella crazy. Already, Librarian Ganon tying it up. New face to good me. lock. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. very. I like that in the pickup too. Yeah, Librarian Ganon has actually kind of shown off uh, the level one knowledge checks. He's been pretty good at. It. He's blocked like the triple overhead on the set play. He's blocked, you know, the instant overhead. Had the punish. He, he has gone for that DP and gotten blown up for it a couple of times. But yeah. Using the guard cancel now. And if you're the arm, oh, another bad Ooh, slide. So this is where the rounds have turned around in Librarian Ganon's favor is just bad slides by the arm and getting jumped on. Yeah. 
like that Librarian Ganon is like willing to spend that conversion. Oh, caught to the back dash. It. Yeah, that you, was really unfortunate. You can't run away from a striker like that. Uh, even even with characters with better back dashes, back dashes are not great in this no. game. And her speed and her range is just sort of too much. I feel like the movement options of this game are extremely, like just how we were talking earlier about how roll is extremely deliberate, back dashes are also extremely yes. deliberate. Yes. Oh, this time though, got opened up by the overheads. Nice. And this is just Vortex, right? This is just going to loop into the exact same Oki. Yeah, going to spend the meter. He's going into exhaustion, but it's not going to be for Yeah, by the time the overheads are blocked with that, she, she already has pretty much full meter. Yeah, it, it's not enough to matter, really, her exhaustion. So she can kind of just like let it rip. And then there it is, Vortex again. I like the DP, finally, just like spending some meter to get off. Nice anti-air DP. Even traded, though. Unfavorable trade. And the, throw, the DP got thrown. I can't tell who's in the corner. <laughs> in all honesty. <laughs> All right, nice conversion. This is uh, not going to yeah. kill, obviously. I mean, there's not anything else you can do with the Awakening Super. Uh, what I don't like about this is I, I do believe this pushes out of Awakening, so now he does lose, you know, whatever Awakening bonus. Right. Uh, I mean, it was going to be next touch kills for yeah. him anyway, right? Well, that, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think you have a good point that it, no matter what, it was next touch kills. I just maybe would have held on to the super for the second touch oh, and yeah. kept the awakening bonus for that sequence. That I agree with 100%. He definitely could have just waited until he got the next hit confirmed. And he still had the corner, right? And it was like much closer in the corner because the awakening ended up pushing him out. I mean, it's Crusader. He is the corner. There yeah, is the <laughs> that's true. Whoa, nice with the left, right. The cross underneath. Pick she up. gets so much OTG time. Absolutely. Jeez. I mean, to be fair, most characters do, but she gets, that shouldn't it, be it that is, much. It is a very Marvel 3-ish yeah. uh, hard knockdown. Yeah, yeah. You do, it, it oh, is, it does vary by characters, but for the ones that get a long ground, uh, you know, grounded OTG window, it is huge. It's several seconds. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, like, with Seder, I hope that he doesn't try to, like, find a hit into the super as we were talking about in the previous round, because he wants to keep that health buff as long as possible. Possibly I would, uh, videos, no I would like to see him use, is it just too well, the little, like... Yeah, the, the, the punch. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, yeah. the Ryu Crush Mini Punch? Yeah, yeah, That yeah. move is hella good. It combos into itself. Mm-hmm. The arm, though, gonna take this one. Looking pretty good so far. Yeah. Looking too tall for my camera. I tried. He's a big boy. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Yeah, you tried to compensate earlier. Yeah, no, 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 no. I definitely, I moved it up, but. Oh. Yeah. Speaking about moving it up, Big Willie getting some licks in, it looks like. Always the crowd favorite. Yeah, everyone pops off for the cat. That's weird. Like a literal bar of people. There's got to be someone here at Ignite just drinking at the bar. Like, why is everyone cheering for a cat? No, I mean, when they see the cat on screen, it makes complete sense. And honestly, we should have specifically the Big Willy cam fed out to the main line. Yeah, just just to the T. I, I actually could just give them the link probably to we do that. We could probably <laughs> do that. <laughs> like, sick. not the stream link, but the one that I'm using is the source from my house. I could just give them that link. You know, we'll talk about it. Yeah, we'll, we'll, see, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll work we'll on see. it. That'll be, that'll be a really Gotta fun. Gotta spread the brand. Yeah, I, exactly. I like, I'm trying to get more of like what Boost did, how he put the Willy sticker behind the random stop sign in the city. <laughs> yes, dude. The, the, but I want that in more cities. I want just... Oh. Uh, that's great. Well, we're going to be in Minneapolis in a couple of weeks. Or I, next I week. think uh, I think my life goal is to see somebody with like a willy sticker or a willy pin, and I don't know who they are, and they don't know who I am. Oh, that's perfect. It, bonus points if they don't know who Big Willie is. If they're <laughs> just like, yeah, this cat sticker was cool. <laughs> the cat, the the one with the the the, yeah. um, the SSS. Oh, he, they, that that would make my day. Just somebody's luggage has it on. That'd be so tight. I mean, like it. it it's good branding, honestly. Like artwork that you get. Shout outs to uh, who's the artist? Oh, that you Medicine Horse Mike did yes, a fantastic dude. art. Not just on that, but uh, also on the uh, the Prince in the Basement in the Waifu Dome, like the the character portraits in the oh, basement. Yeah. Those were also all Medicine Horse uh, Mike as well. Yo, shout outs to Callisto's home. He has a lovely home. Yeah, I think that. You know, Ignite is always going to be the king. I think I have the second best fighting game venue in I Chicago. Would, I would probably <laughs> say so, dude. I don't know if you've been to like any of most of the other venues, and I mean, like they're chill. They're they're chill. They're cool venues. Yeah. And I'm not going to down. You know, on stream especially, I'm not going to doubt. I'm not going to shit. Yeah, but they don't venues. have someone cooking. But exactly, that's the thing. You guys need home cooked meals. <laughs> and the basement with like the custom artwork and everything, dude. It's a it's a studio down there. It's so sick. You know what I want to get? I want to get like cushions for people to sit on if they're gonna sit on the ground. Uh, That'd be nice. Yeah, just for watching the projector and stuff. That's like. really quaint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see what it ha what it looks like when it's like filled up in your house. I'm sure that uh, the one. Oh me. Is this you? Oh, oh okay. Snap. So okay, all right. looks like this is gonna be Dinar. Uh, 
going to be Dinar and Seth. So we'll see. We'll see what Seth has going on in this game. He's a fan of cheapies. He's probably acclimated well. Looks like the arm going to join me on commentary here. Welcome, bud. Been a while. How you doing? Yeah, what's up, man? What's how up, stream? You, how you liking the game so far? Uh, it's dope. Striker's fun, bro. You know what uh, You know what my favorite part about this game is? What's that? Launching the game and being in a match in, like, under a minute. Oh, it's yeah. It's the only current major fighting game where you can just turn on the game and play. And just be playing, yeah. <laughs> and you're like, not waiting hey. for, like, three minutes of shit to happen. I'm trying to do some training mode. Let's test this thing out. All right, so Seth's running Dragon Knight, right? I think so. That's cool. I like that character. At least I like watching her. I don't like playing her because she doesn't feel good to me. Yeah, I wanted, you know, that's actually who I was going to try originally. And there's just some, oh, no, I see a Kunoichi locked in for Dinar. And, yeah, there's the Dragon Knight for Seth. So both these characters are pretty new to me still. Yeah, unique matchup for sure. It's uh, one of the most airborne matchups in the game for sure because. Yeah, I mean, this is not a jumping game for most oh, characters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is a, a no air blocking, gigantic mid-range normal game. Yeah. And, I mean, these characters don't have those things, though. Yeah. That's the funny part. I mean, obviously, no one had no air blocking, but, you know, their normals are decently sized, but, you know, compared to some of the stuff we it, see. It's not like jumping against Troubleshooter, where it's just like, oh, cool, he gets 40% because I forgot that I can't jump ever. You just need to get yourself a dive kick, bro. Dude, I have it. It's <laughs> like the only punishable dive kick. <laughs> you just need to get yourself a, a good, cancelable yeah. unblocked dive kick. You can you can cancel to, like, the 236D. Uh, the no, you just press A. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She to just the, goes the jump, jump C, jump yeah, A. Yeah. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. But anyway, we got Kunoichi coming out, showing off. I feel bad about picking the same song all the time, but the song is fucking no, The song sick. is the best. Yeah, no, I the song actually you. rips. Uh, I think their names are wrong. Yeah, yeah I got it. All right, so Seth with the Dragon Knight has the anti-air there. Yeah, Cut. but he oh, got oh. jumped back in on. Yeah. Ooh. Good blocks. Uses the guard cancel. That looks like a throw bait. Seth going, oh, can't, can't get the conversion. It's yeah. pretty hard to convert off Fireball, but she can, and it's a lot of damage. Oh, the Yoga Flame catching. Oh, beats out the DP as well, wow, yeah. Oh, got behind it. That was pretty cool. That's a good way to beat it. Getting really paid for it, too. Ooh, Ooh. mix. Yeah. Again, same of, mix. Yeah, it has to drop it a little bit of, you know, kind of a reset. Had the pressure. It's still because in of place. Awakening. You see where the health is? Yeah. He doesn't want to push him into Awakening because characters just jump in damage and threat. Well, it happened anyway off the guard cancel. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's some characters that, like, like Hitman, right? You, you need to avoid at all costs yeah, leaving them in Awakening if you so can. God mode. Well, this is looking pretty bad for Seth, but he can win in, like, Yeah, you now I'm going to get opened up mind. low. Not watching the toes there. This is one of those games where you don't really count people out because they can win in one to two touches when they're losing. It's a really... I, I do think it's kind of a slow game. Uh... But it's also like it's a relatively high, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a high damage game for the most part. But you know, because of the recoverable health, if you don't have the right ender and you're not cashing all that out, a lot of times they can just get that back. I mean, most combos end in yeah, and end in a D move. It's more on uh, you know people not if, if they finishing. Drop it. Yeah, yes, if they drop yes. it, and that'll happen. Sure. Oop! Put himself in the corner. Seth is honestly getting mixed. Yeah, he doesn't. He hasn't really gotten anything going. Oh, that's oh. going to be a punish. Yeah, great think, movement from Dinar there. I think a kill here. Can, oh, no, no. That's the pressure going, though. Forces Seth to spend the guard cancel. Needs to do something here. Oh, okay. Needs to get a big No MP, though. Here. All right, a little bit on deck. Spends the guard cancel. Oh, didn't pick it up. Missed the air dash. That was a conversion for sure. Oh, no, not okay. dead. Dangerous. No chip kills, though. I mean, you can no, kind of hang out as long out. as you don't get guard broken. Careful. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh. Dinar hanging real in careful there. with those characters that are fast enough to get under fireballs. Yeah, and Dinar doing a good job of using the movement to slide underneath that fireball. You know, that would have been another punish like the one that we saw earlier. Just didn't quite get settled in time to realize what side they would be on, I think. Knocked okay. down with the seal. Has the bomb on. Ooh, reversal throw grab. Yeah, going to get the corner here. Let's see if Seth can get some momentum. He hasn't really been able to establish any in the side switch combo to get the corner back. Messing up your block string, getting punished is bad feels. Watch out. Ooh. Can't get a conversion, though, because the jump C. Fireballs again to protect the dragon. Oh, that's going to convert. A little high, though. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. 
Those are hard combos. Yeah, Dragon Knight's conversions are real hard, but she gets so much reward off doing them, so it's definitely something worth going for. Yeah, when I first tried learning the air dash combos, after like 30 minutes and I hadn't gotten it once, I was like, you know, I'm good. <laughs> you gotta like hit like a falling jump B yeah. and it just juggles them up into the whole rest of the thing. Wow, that was a nice option select for the cross up. All right, stagger in the lows there. Out of MP again. All right, takes the grab. I don't think that's that was a, a punish. Chicago but punish. Yeah. That's just really struggling to neutral, honestly. Gets the DP at least. Gonna get some space here. There's that's the fireball. Work. Not quite with the conversion. Has the lead. But that's the problem. Wow. Oh wow, the DP was enough damage. Yeah, it was a chunk of damage. Seth has not gotten any combos. It's just it's just killing with like single hits and. Fireballs and BPs. I would honestly, you know, if that's the case, I'd like to see him just lean more into that and just focus on getting these stray hits and being safe. Okay. Oh, no conversion. Nice. Another one. Oh, this is it. Oh, oh, no. That was had to be a miss input. Either that or thought the punish was coming and just didn't want it. All right, doing a jitsu. Nice wait. Oh, no. You're punished yeah. again. The double fireball is killing him. And nice heads up by Dinar here. Just running forward, right? Calling out that second fireball by just yep. holding forward after the dash. Seth's got so much white health. It would be really good if he could just stall out a little bit until you get it back. Yeah, white health does recover pretty fast. Ended yeah, up getting back. all of it back. Opened up again here, though. Nice. Convert? No? Okay, we can save jump about this. Does she get anything it. after that? Uh, She can add DP or okay. like 2B into something, but it's like that's it. Nice. DP so good against this character who likes to be in the air. Especially, like, Dragonite DP, not great against a lot of characters, but it has great verticality compared it's to most. Huge once it gets opened up in the air. Oh, this is a kill if you can finish. No. All right. This is a one touch game for anyone. Yep. Lots of super to go around. Ooh, that's kind of cheap. Any tap will do it here. Ooh, that double jump just saved him. You got 10 seconds, just lame it out. Yeah, but the chip is a factor. Ooh, there jump seat catches. Nice. Nice. 1 1. Seth, Seth hanging in there. Yeah, the neutral looks great for him. He, if he landed a couple combos, this would be like a blowout set. But, you know, he's just playing neutral right now. Bro, the song's so good. <laughs> I get hype every time the song starts. No DP there. I thought that would come. No, there there it, is. it is, yeah. Okay, stay safe. No, did another one. Yeah, the run up grab. At least if the they're not already running this and backwards, yeah. Them, so it's like not so bad. Rolls out of the corner, gets the position nice. switch. Good yeah, 60s. frame traps with the magic there. Oh, uh oh, no, Seth's so impatient. Just let him have their turn, bro. It's okay. <laughs> He's actually not doing that bad of a job blocking once yeah, he does like lose good. the turn. Ooh. careful. Yeah, good patience there. Gotta wait. Nice movement. Avoided the mix there. Nice. There, yeah. Waited it out. Got a full punish. Not a whole lot of damage, but still gets the pressure. Oh, misses the roll punish. Yeah, it was enough to give him the life lead, though. Uh-oh. Ooh, good tick throw. Throws have trash advantage, though, so it's back to neutral. Oh, oh barely didn't make yeah, it through. so many active frames. DP. Yeah, you got to be careful with those double jumps. It's real easy to DP once you've committed. Good movement. Pass to Kunai. Nice. Gets the punish on the back He's dash. He's got to finish. He keeps missing 2C into, into that move. The guard cancel. Anyone's match right now? TP, TP again. Yeah, not quite enough to kill. This is Seth's game to lose at this point. One tap, one tap from any MP move is going to end it. He There's gets punished, the guard though. Cancel. Yeah. Nice bait by Cam. Damn. Oh, yeah. Let me see the seals. Let's go. All right, Cam. Cam going up. I thought I... I thought Seth had that one in the bag, but kept Cam going up to match point. Barely avoided that JD. Uh, spending a lot to avoid that. Astro going in. I'm not sure if Cam knows he can punch Astro in the mouth. Okay. All right, gets the side switch. Has the setup. Ooh, that was kind of cheap. The bomb's still oh, on. Yes, bomb. great pickup. That was so the sick. The bomb's back on again. Yep, has Spent it. in the combo. Last life here for Seth. Seth's in trouble. A lot of MP to work with. Whoa. 
dragon just gets. <laughs> yeah, the dragon's like, yo, it's hot in there. <laughs> yeah, can't get through. This is looking rough. Ooh, had the whip yeah. punish. Too far to convert. Can't convert that range. Oh no. Almost had the pick up there. That should do it. The grab. Seth, too, too impatient. Not enough. Not enough uh, giving up his turn. Yeah. Didn't, didn't want to give it up. Yeah, and like you said, though, he's winning the neutral pretty consistently. Just got to gotta work on the conversions. It's a new game. And in my opinion, I think compared to, like, a lot of the recent games, combos are actually kind of tricky in this game. Yeah, I mean, it depends on the character, right? Yeah. All right. So I believe we're going to have... Who's that? That looks like a Paka, but that's not Carpex. No, who is that? I actually don't know what match this is. What match is this? Uh, this is Zoom versus Alpaca. The only setup with oh, the Oh, um, Zoom is showing as being DQ. Yeah. That's okay. Oh, okay, we got I'll we got a DQ it. in the bracket. Nice. Okay. Okay. So this is. Sure. So I gotta get up to play in a second, but this is gonna be that is Alpaca, and it's gonna be Zoom coming up against him. Yeah, Alpaca has been running the Berserker, and he's been... Uh, Dude, he smoked me the other day. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I love, it was like... It was the kind of set... Like, you and I played a pretty long set, and you yeah, beat yeah. me up pretty hard. I yeah. played him, I was like, I don't feel like playing anymore. <laughs> like, I, I was, like, actually, like, straight up I mean, that, that's what Berserker does to you, right? <laughs> he's just like, I'm taking turns. Yeah, I'm taking turns. It was like... Dude, like I've been blocking. This is all a true block string. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know when I'm supposed to get out, and I didn't. I just died. Yeah, you just die sometimes. All right, stuff gonna step in here for me. Yep. Lost Warrior. So we do have. I thought we had a bunch of setups with Lost Warrior, but Lost Warrior versus Berserker. We were just talking about characters not being able to get out of Berserker's pressure. Well, Lost Warrior is not going to be the one to mash out of Berserker pressure. Yeah, I'll be I'll be real, man. I don't know how this character operates. He one-shots you, bro. Yeah, that's he's, it. He's, he's like Captain Robbery, bro. That's, that's, the, that's literally Lost Warrior. That's the only thing that I know. I don't know how he plays neutral. <laughs> no, he has a bunch of, like, tracking projectiles and stuff. So he has, like, he has a proje tracking meterless projectile that yeah. if you get hit by it, he just explodes you. Oh, he has this teleport move that goes behind you, so if you're not holding the block button, uh -huh. you just get exploded. Uh -huh. it's, it's just a bunch of moves like that. He has this air move that grabs you that's, like, really strong. Oh, really? Oh, snap. And you see that those two moves, if you're not holding the block button and he just does them on block, they cross you up twice. Is it kind of like uh, like chip stuff where you need to be blocking the other way? Or no, it's you just hold the block button and oh, okay. it doesn't block. It, it just blocks it for just you. Blocks for you. Right. Yeah, yeah. It, but he's, he's definitely a block button check. Yeah, yeah. And he's definitely, like, if you guess wrong in neutral, and he's right, he'll explode you. Yeah. But uh, we should change the scene, by the way. Oh, yeah, no, we're in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we are on the right scene. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're I was looking on the wrong one. Yeah. Let me look up here, actually. Sure. I mean, like, uh, I mean, Berserker is one of those characters, too, where it's like, he's, he's, he's not going to do that kind of damage, right? He's not going to be able to by any means. He's going to have to, like, it a few times. But like, he does have, a, like, a lot of different ways that he can do his routes. I don't know, man. This character kind of chunks you. I think he this does, dude's dead, by the way. He does chunk you. I don't know if he's dead. Is he sure? Oh, yeah. I thought he had it. I thought he had enough for conversion. Cross. Guard oh, cancel. Oh, my God. Nice. Get smoked. Good bait, dude. Alpaca has, like, crazy guard bait stuff. He'll, he'll, yeah, do, like, really good. he'll do, like, DP to bait your guard cancel. It's, like, ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, there's only a couple ways you can bait guard cancels if you're already stringing up. Yeah, so. yeah, that's true. I mean, like, you've got a few. Striker does have like kind of a lot of different freedoms that you can have yeah. baiting guard cancels too. But oh, nice block. Block. didn't block the follow up. It's just getting exploded. He's this dead is now. A, this is death. Yeah. 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 Okay. The Quick one oh. I mean, like, just, it's wild because Alpaca doesn't even have to do like the knowledge check for the character. Zoom can't play. Right? Nah, no, he just runs game. Exactly. He runs game, and if the person dies, then they die. I feel like okay. that's. Oh man, you get a big hit from round start. Don't follow it up, and then you're getting comboed back in the blender. Yeah, into the corner. Yo, nice conversion. Oh, Zerker gets tons of extensions. Already in frenzy, burning yeah. his health away. Didn't even want to go for a meaty core cross. He wants to keep that frenzy. Already an exhaustion. Is he an expensive character? Like his, his FP skills are like really. Uh, well, he guard canceled him out, right? Oh, I see. I see. That's a big fat hundred right off the bat. I think he's gonna have to guard cancel here too. Yep. Yeah, he definitely has to. I'm back and not ready oh, for see, him. that's one of the moves. You gotta look for those frenzies. That's a that's a lo on lost warrior opportunity to just obliterate him. Yeah. Next time he's, he's dead. Yeah. Get caught without a hundred. Sometimes you just get bombed. Yeah. 
And I mean, that's the character too. Like, Berserker only really needs to find the one hit, right? Just touch you once, and then you're either in the corner. He, honestly, a lot of the times he doesn't even need to touch you. He just needs to make you block. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah, well, it's more or less just like with the Bloody Twister too. Yeah. Bloody Twister RPS is like really, really scary. Nice couple in the low. It's looking real rough for Zoom. Can't get anything going. Just all Alpaca. Conversion? Dude, Ghost Slash is a huge damage. Whoa. Yo, you let the hell. He was on some next level there. He was so right with it, too. Smoking that pack. What the hell was nice. that? Nice. And he rolled through the move that I was talking about. That's a tracking move. He tried to do it. Yeah. Didn't work. Pack is going off. Yeah, this is crazy. Next touch is definitely dead. Yeah. What do you do? Have meter to guard cancel. You do it? He Locks did. It. Oh, yeah. oh my God. God. Damn. All right, I'll pack it. Good. Two zeros straight up. Damn, that was nuts. <laughs> that was so fast. Yeah, just exploded him. That was ridiculous. I mean, what do you do, right? In all honesty, it's like... See, I mean, we saw a couple of hits. Like, this, that's the kind of character Lost Warrior. He literally, like, he hit two neutral hits, and uh, he didn't confirm them. And it's like, oh, well, sorry. Yeah, I mean, well, okay, so you're talking about, like, the round start. Like He, he, he did 2B, that little, uh -huh. like, ground wave move. Uh-huh. And he hit him, and you can definitely just pick up with that, that huge slash into, like, a fat combo. Yeah, but he dropped it? He just dropped oh, it, and then got punished for it. Oh, okay. All right. So Zoom needs to play again because this is the only Lost Warrior setup. So he just wants to make sure Damn. that he can get as far as he can. All Lost Warrior matches on stream today. I guess so. Yeah, you guys get all the data. It's not like you unlock the character yourself. Uh, he's still you know. question marks on my, my, my setup. Yeah, sure. mine too. <laughs> Absolutely not. So I don't know. All right. So we're going to see Zoom come up again. This is a loser side match now. Um, nope. Where's this? Uh, what do we got here? So if Zoom went down here, then it looks like uh, Cafe Funk. Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't know. Uh, Cafe Funk did show up last week at Super Saturdays. I uh, can't remember who he was playing, but I don't know. Who do you feel like Lost Warrior has like strong and bad matchups already? Um, I think he's really good against the characters that that want to be far away from you, like uh -huh. the zoners. Uh -huh. um, and then I think he's really trash about the characters that will like get in his face and just mash frame data on him. Yeah. Because he has none. Like Zerk. Like Zerker or Striker yeah. are just like rolling him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like. Well, I mean, it's different when you have, like, crazy-ass mix-up characters like like those two, right? But then you have, like, the point. Well, it's not even you like don't even need mix-up against him. Right? Like, I mean, he's tall, so he gets mixed. Yeah. Just like a like a little cherry on top, like, hold this instant over yeah. <laughs> But my man's, like, okay, so if you have minus three against him and a six-frame button, uh -huh. he's trapped. He's That's done. True. He can't mash. That's true. You're plus one. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. All right, we'll lose round two. The seeds are trapped on your challenger. Well, let's see. Inquisitor one. versus Lost Warrior. But uh, like one thing, like I'm I'm, I'm I'm saying things that blow him up. But like one thing cannot be understated: Lost Warrior's robbery power is the most next level. Yeah. This character's damage is look. You didn't block the cross up. Yes, you're getting comboed. Look at that. You lost 50 already. That was from yeah. That's like, actually crazy. That was like from Fahole, I was 60 percent. Not even. Oh, uh oh, you're dead. You lost the game. He might actually be dead. Oh no no, he didn't have a meter. Oh wait wait wait, hold on hold on. Time stop. I still don't think he's dead though. Yeah. They're watching. God, this person doesn't right. know to hold the block button. I we got, might be. We might see what happened. I got smoked in the mirror. Damn. They just kept getting 5D out first, and then I'm like, oh no, I lost. <laughs> oh yeah, he doesn't know about holding guard button to avoid the cross up. Nope. Yeah. He got smoked the first round. Yeah, I learned that real quick. You have to. He, he's, he'll just like obliterate. He'll be the hardest character you've ever fought in your life if you're not guard buttoning him. Oh, gets a little bit of reset there. This should be game. Maybe not. Yeah. Maybe not. Okay. Don't get touched. Holy shit. He does not have any idea how close that was to just getting one shot. I'm actually like, I mean, assuming this guy knows the combos, like this character is like really just like actual one oh, shot. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've definitely gotten like 80%ed. Yeah, it's insane. Uh oh, didn't guard button. Get smoked. Got the combo. Still did like 30%. Wow, she can dodge it like that. I didn't know that. But now you're getting exploded. This is probably yeah. game. A lot of recovery on Inquisitor moves. You got to make contact. Oh, you didn't finish. I thought he had enough moves to finish that. One more hit, it goes to time stop. Okay. Yeah, just spend the guard cancel. Oh, oh that just could be a big hit. Finish? Uh, no, not with this round. Yeah, not, and also not without meter either. Oh, God. He's trying. He's dead. Just five being a super, right? Oh, please super him. 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 Oh! 
Didn't spend the cash. Uh, kinda, yeah, I hate to see it. Yeah, kind of put himself in a, a rough position to spend too. Just did like an awkward route that didn't. Could have just super during yeah, the wheel, yeah. my dude. Uh, or at least after that OTG, he had the 5B, 2B. Could have just done it off of that. That yes. is actually one of the biggest strengths of Inquisitor is from her normals, her super combos really reliably as long as you, right. as long as you have enough untech time. You can really, really get that super. Uh-oh. Big hit. Bonk. Bonk. Nice 40% off of a six-hit combo. Love to see it. There's cross no. up again. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. This guy better find his bot block button real quick. Otherwise yeah, hopefully, you know, Cafe Funk maybe will check the, the stream, you know, vibe <laughs> tomorrow or something. Definitely so needs to. This character's unblockable. 40%. Safe jump, messes it up. Oh, that's punish. Yep. That's a hot punish for Lost Warrior. Tries to finish the game. Oh, no. This is... Oh, no. Oh, no. That's going to do it? Yeah. It's rough. Yeah. Cafe Funk, uh, going to have to, you know, go to the lab a little bit, find out about how to deal with that, you know, Virgil Slash. Yeah, you just got to... You don't even have to hold a direction. Any direction, guard, and you'll be okay. But if you're not holding guard, that move is crazy. In general, cross-up protection is actually pretty lenient in this game, That's too. True. Uh, it's just that move raw, you know, it's not going to yep. be in place. But he can't really, like, run a block string into it very very well. There's a ton of, like... Yeah, you do have to be spaced out for a yeah. cross-up like that. Um, but, All yeah. All right. So it, is, it is one of the tools that they will run on you to your death if you don't. Looks like Apaka made pretty short work. Uh, of Zoom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, a big yeah. explosion. So they're catching up the bracket. Uh, we're starting to get our top eight in place. I see shen uh, shenanigans coming up now. So this will probably be shenanigans and board games. That appears right. to be the case. I know shenanigans. He was playing Berserker and uh, Swiftmaster. Yeah, that appeared to be the case. Uh, board games has been dabbling with a lot of characters. When I played him, he was mostly playing Troubleshooter. Yeah. Uh, but I know he's been playing other ones as well. Yeah, Shenanigans, even in other games, is the kind of dude who plays, like, a bunch of different characters. So, makes sense. Especially since I consider this game on the easier side to pick up new characters. Yeah, I, like I said, I think that's uh, a good thing about this game, right? This is a very pick-up-and-play game. Uh, it's not... There's some really gross shit, and there's some knowledge checks, you know? There's oh, all, of course. But I, for the most part... If once you get an idea of how the basic mechanics work, you just and the game does a pretty good job of explaining it to you as well. All right, going to the Swift Master does shenanigans, and I'm assuming we're going to see the troubleshooter here. I think the hardest thing to learn in this game so far was actually just how to to set the reversal settings. Like, how oh, to that was a nightmare. Dude. That, <laughs> that was, was difficult. <laughs> It only fixed itself because I played James and he uses the same exact control scheme as me. And I was like, oh my god, my training mode works now. But yeah, okay, so we got Swiftmaster Troubleshooter. We'll see We'll see how uh, Troubleshooter can keep him out. Yeah, Troubleshooter uh, has actually decent speed on his buttons for their range. His 5L is very good, his 2L is very good. Uh, yeah, his, his... Oh, wow, round start TP. They can't punish that one, though. Yeah. That right there. That The Wait, fact that that move hits crouching is kind of wild. Okay. Board games is not not about holding anything right yeah, now. Yeah, drinking up, getting some gray life to work with. Ten, ten seconds into the game, already done like three DPs. Nice. This life lead is going to be evened up pretty quickly, though. Yeah. Oh, Woo! big mistake. Wow, almost got punished yeah. for the drop combo. I think that board games was scared. I think he actually could have woken up. Oh, kind of rare footage of Troubleshooter OTG being a little bit too far. Yeah. That's a big drop, too. It's a lot of damage. He needed that. Drops the extender. This is probably a punish there. Yeah. yeah. Troubleshooter GP, very, very enabling. But you're going to die for it. Yep. Nice routing there by Shenanigans. Going to close out the round. Board games, I mean, you know, the first three DPs worked. But like. <laughs> yeah, I mean, his DP is mad cheap. Yeah. That works? Okay, cool. I didn't even know that goes through all that. Makes sense, though. Yeah, I think it wipes the... Because the, they're projectile boxes, right? Like, I think his shots just wipe them. Because yeah. uh, it does interact with uh, Inquisitor 5D like that. Like, they just cancel each other out. You see you see, board games definitely is in Shenanigan's head a little already. He's already hard-baiting DPs and stuff, so... Oh, 
gets converted on, though. This hurts. Yeah, I think right now that's the difference maker. Shenanigans is just has his routes down and is definitely getting his damage. And that's a nice mix-up. I don't think this kills. That was a resourceless mix-up as well. Like, he didn't have to spend anything to do it. He just had the right setup. It does cost a meter to put down the orb, but yeah. Uh-oh. Good. Oh, I was going to say good block, but he did get open up low. Oh, he's dead. Yes. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Grenade? No, he went for the arrow TG, but he does recollect it with the 2L, yeah, 2B. Well, I think, think Melanator jumped a little too high there, so he dropped it, but board game still in there. Up the on 1-1 uh, one, one rounds. No DP's holding it this time. After that first round where he was just throwing him out, he hasn't really been doing them so much. Yeah, I mean, maybe that was part of the strategy, right? Like, Get just head. make him think you'll DP every time and then never do it again. Nope. Never mind. There it is. <laughs> That was a good time to DP, though. I'm not even going to lie. Yeah. You can see board, oh, board games explosion. really yeah. doesn't want shenanigans to get started. Putting out a lot of things preemptively. Doesn't want... Yeah, but you got to block that. Yeah, but the problem is he's leaving himself without MP. Once shenanigans gets in, he has no guard cancel. Yeah. He'll I mean, be in... Ooh, that's a punish. That is a punish. I didn't know that. That was sick. Good timing there. And shenanigans going to take game one. Glad to see the Blaze Blue Lady getting work again. Shenanigans looking good. And there's plus. Ooh. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I've tested it. Not not in the lab. I mean, I've mashed against it. And I've definitely <laughs> died. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, that was a weird interaction. If good. he just pressed the normal button, he would have just blown him out. But he did the dive kick, which is a little delayed, so he went way over. And again, great routing here by Shenanigans. Gets the full corner carry. Has the orb out. What's the mix? Nice. Oh, the DP. DP's good there. Oh, Ooh, this dead. might be dead. Yeah. Easy combo. Big damage. Blow him up. Okay. Board game's looking pretty good. Oh. There we go. Board game's holding the pressure. You know, he's a little too far, but can't can't convert. Yeah, he's just kind of chilling there. Oh, uh -oh no! Uh -oh, you uh -oh, hate to uh -oh. see it. You hate to see it. What do we do? Uh, hold on. He's in the middle of hitting. He dropped it though. This is the weekly. I think we're we're yeah, fine. Yeah, we're, we're okay. <laughs> we're okay. We'll play it out. I was like, I don't see the guy running the bracket, and it's it's ignite. We're fine. Yeah. Using that five L just to kind of stop the pressure and able to convert that into the two M. Got the counter hit. Gets, gets the knockdown. Gets the drink too. That is good there. Oh man, this is fat damage. Oh, he doesn't get the. Doesn't want the. End. Oh, kept him out of awakening probably. Yeah, he was almost out of MP too. If it didn't kill off that next hit, he wasn't going to have a lot left, and that is going to finish. And board games evening it up one game apiece. He was a lot more patient that last, that second game, and used the like dot, you know Helmbreaker type move. Pretty well there. Like against the swords, it was spaced out enough to not get punished, and it's looking good. Yeah, and he's blocking like the right amount, right? Like not so much that he's you know just letting shenanigans run the mix on him, but enough that shenanigans will go in and get DP. Yeah, he's getting exploded right now. Yeah. Nice. Another one, yes. Yes, draw me in so I can. Oh, only... good punished on the drink though, and this ah, might be dead. dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Nice. No, there's the drop. Gets the DP out. That's a really bad drop because Troubleshooter can most definitely one-shot your ass here. Oh, good punish, though. Able to get the roll on the third hit. Damn, he really can just shit on that for full screen, huh? You can, uh, yeah, the third shot, if they do the optional shot, you can react to the, the MP move spark and roll then, and you'll still get, like, a, a 2B punish with most characters. This is real bad for games right now. He's getting 50% comboed. Ooh, oh, that was the mix. I thought that was a mistake. I got mixed too, for sure. That, that would have hit me. Ooh, the counter hit from way downtown. And there's the meaty. That should do it. Looking at it. And there's the OTG shenanigans. Cleaning his plate. Closing it out. Yeah. Moving on to the winner semis. I believe he's going to face you when we get there. Uh, is it? I thought that was on the other side. Let's see. Nope, that looks oh, like okay. it. Yeah. yeah, okay. You're right, you're right, you're right. Nice. Okay. All right, so our winner semi is going to be the arm against Shenanigans, and then on the other side, it's going to be uh, Dinar, who we saw earlier against Alpaca. So, oh, Alpaca beat Carfax. Word, word. Yeah, Alpaca looking real strong today, man. Let me tell you. Yeah, 
I, I, I like to see it. Alpaca is a character or a player who I've played in a bunch of games, uh, and he is. He's just a strong player. He's good yep. at Strive. He's good at Dragon Ball. He's good yeah. at Street Fighter. Yep, yep. He knows how, how to pick games up and be, uh, be a threat, that's for sure. Berserker, a crazy character to pick, too. He doesn't always play the same type of character that I like, too. No. Uh, you know, he, he was at first. You know, he played Laura. He played um, Giovanna. Uh, but then he, he picked up Anji when Anji came out, which was really different from the style of character that he played. And his Anji is pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, on the loser side, who's still alive? Mars has made it to one of the top eight loser spots. Carfax is going to play James to go up against Mars. Yeah. We have against Librarian Ganon against Jinsoku. Uh, that sounds like a pretty aggressive match. <laughs> yeah, the the Crusader player. Yeah, I, I don't know how Jinsoku does against Crusader. Crusader I'm, is like a patience test character, right? Is Jinsoku playing Berserker? Of course. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I do like. There's that like uh, the the Ragna player divergence mm -hmm. of like you know when it comes time to pick someone not Ragna, Jinsoku goes like the offensive route, and yeah. I go like the grindy route, like. <laughs> He so, uh, he likes to get in there and stay in there for sure. He also does like edge lord characters too, yes, so it's like yes. a, it's a very aesthetic choice, obviously <laughs> for him. But yeah, I hope everyone's enjoying our first uh, stream of DNF. Uh, the first stream I've had in a while, actually. I, I had to miss CEO I was working the uh, Pokemon Nationals in mm -hmm. Columbus. We saw our boy Jukum, uh, you know, one of our better local Grand Blue players, uh, nice. was actually the 2018 World Champion for Pokemon. Uh, he got third and qualified for Worlds nice. in London. So, yeah, it was pretty cool, right? We got, we got to see our local, you know, kind of pop off. Pokken is actually kind of a cool game. Uh, there's a guy, his name is Elm. He's a Japanese player. He's very good, and he's also, like, just a big community name for Pokken. And it's the last year that it's going to be in the official Pokemon, you know, championship tour. So he's just traveling to all of them. The, even if you win, you definitely do not make enough money to like cover yeah, a trip sure. to Japan, right? It, it's Pokemon. Like you get, yeah, you get like seventy six booster cards that you could probably sell for more than what the actual prize spot is. Uh, but Elm <laughs> traveled. To, he was already qualified. And he was just traveling to play, and he got second at every turn. He's like traveling the world just trying to win a tournament. And he got second at all of them. I felt so bad. Nice. <laughs> second place curse. All right. Yeah, I was gonna go up and be like, "Do you know who Lord Knight is?" I don't, <laughs> I don't know if he's known in in Pokemon or in Japan, but you know, we've heard this story before. Here, let me find Pinecone, see what's up with our other matches, real quick. All right. All right, what's up, stream? How you guys enjoying this DNF action? Getting this uh, bracket moving along. where Fliss is coming back. That means they must be. What's up, Jay Money? I see you in there. Yeah, pretty much everyone we need is held up in uh, Strive or Dragon Ball or whatever. Uh, we did we did change formats recently here at FGC Meetups. Uh, the actual tournaments are only bi-weekly now. Uh, right. We alternate between tournament weeks and casual weeks. And instead of three games, they run five now. Um, and now you can enter up to three instead of up to two. The downside is we're going to run into this more, right? Where we need like a player, but they're good at multiple games. So they're in, you know, loser semis or whatever of one bracket, but they're needed yeah. to run winners on the other side. Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen any van. I, I actually have not seen any vanguards even just kind of walking around Dude, the setups. Dude, Super Saturdays, there were two vanguards tearing it up. They yeah. made both, both made top eight. Do you know who was it? Uh, what was their name? I played one of them. I don't even remember. The tournament was a blur. Played mad people. I don't know. You can check the archives. They're definitely there in the top eight. I almost came out, and then uh, for the July weekend was, like, uh, the first time in, like, probably 11 months where I had no work or social obligations. I did nothing, dude. I sat. Just chilled. <laughs> yeah, I, I, got the, I got the Steam Deck thing. Mm. I loaded up the uh, Final Fantasy Pixel remasters on it, and I just literally fucking did not move from the D's like do you want to I'm like no I don't know what you're going to finish the sentence with I don't really care nice I don't need food I don't need water I'm just I'm just good I just need <clears> to <throat> not leave this couch and I'm chilling but yeah I'm enjoying this game so far uh, it's a fun game definitely not a game I would like 
enter a world tour for and chase <laughs> chase points for because this game is kind of tilting but it's like a more fun uh, you know that feeling of strive when the big counter comes and you're like oh I guess I died for that it's like funnier in this game when you die when that happens than it is in in Street Fighter 5 or strive which I think are the, the more similar games yeah I, d I do be killing people for uh, sometimes not very much just happen to catch them blocking yeah, there's just funny interaction sometimes, too. The game's new enough and wild enough that sometimes two moves just interact in ways that you're not yes. going to expect. And, you know, you get, like, a, an accidental cross-up or something, and you're like, oh, cool, I guess I'll turn this into a combo. Uh, you can see the aiding touch on the combos. It reminds me a lot of the combo structure of Marvel 3 of, like, finding a way. You have your consistent, like, latter two-thirds of a route. And it's all about learning how to steer every straight hit into that stable second half of the combo. Uh, and, yep. and I think that's really cool. I, th I think it's cool to, you know, like, we'll make jokes about mashing out and call it a Abare, but it's like real Abare, right? It's like about knowing how to convert from aggressive actions no matter how they hit or where they hit. Uh, yeah, I think that's one of the cooler parts of the there's game. There's a lot of ways where you can, like, really juice your damage. I don't know, like, I think you were commentating my matches earlier. I was doing, like, a lot of, like, the early one-inch punch combos. That yeah, the do we saw the double. Is that the puff ball? The, the oh, the one where just the, the one. Yeah, that, where yeah, that crumples. Oh, the two, the, the double one-inch punch combo is just the, the, pun the DP punch combo. That, yeah. That one just juices their life bar. It's ridiculous. I, I just today like buff i packed up everything but the ps4 and then i was just messing with stuff and i started finally learning the uh the jump cancel like the inquisitor like 6cc uh kara jump canceled to get the grounded special out of yeah. the 6cc yeah and yeah when you stack a wheel into the flame at, at like the start of the combo and then you still get your whole combo after it's crazy You're, i was getting like 320 off of a 5a starter or something i'm like damage is kind of jokes in this game for a lot of characters yeah. It's funny because you, you mess someone up and then they get to do the fat combo on you because yeah. you messed them up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because they have, I, I haven't learned to use, uh, uh, what's it called? Conversion. I, oh. I, I don't really have a good handle on how to use conversion yet. I'm I also mean, scared any, to spend my gray health because I'm playing a low health character. Any character that has a projectile can kind of just do projectile conversion and then just run in. Yeah, yeah. Just, just use it like a YRC and yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't have that. So like... Like striker can do like a like a six C or something, you know, something forward moving, yeah. And then converge it, and then just like see what they're doing, and then do it, do something else. All right, so we do have a match. Uh, I believe that's Zoom stepping up. It's gonna be Zoom and uh, Carlton Cation. Carlton Cation uh, should be Inquisitor. This is actually who I lost to. Dang, Jinsoku got Crusadered. Rip. Yeah, we do see Librarian Ganon in the other top eight spot. So the winner of this is going to play board games, and that'll be our last top eight qualifier for the night. Is it? Yeah, it looks like is it. it. Isn't top eight there? Yep. Oh, uh, winner plays board games. And, and then, then the winner, then the winner of, that. of that is top yeah, eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. Got it. All right, so Zoom uh, had been playing... The, was this the Lost Warrior? Yes. Yeah. So we'll see if Carlton, K Carlton Cation actually, um, as far as Inquisitor stuff goes, had a lot of like the nuance stuff. He knew about uh, if you get like an airborne juggle into 5C, both hits of 5C, you have to actually delay the 6CC a pretty good amount in order to get your like normal BNB. There's a lot of little stuff like that that he definitely had a handle of. I have a feeling like he's played enough that he's going to know about the cross up and he's going to know to guard button it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's a that's all Lost Warrior experience. I mean, because well, and it's also have you played a game where you need to use the block button? Because some people just like yeah, oh no, no, no. My for, God, for me, I, for me, I was like my main game is Grand Blues. Per, like I knew immediately as soon as I got it. hit by the cross up one time, and then I realized it was a cross up, and I was like, I know what to do. We're good. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's as long as you you are fine with. Holding the block button sometimes. This guy is not that bad. He can still will. He, I mean, he still will one shot you, right? But like, you know. Oh, nice. The fire caught him on the, the landing. Yeah, and uh, Carlton actually doing. Uh, he was doing a lot of the harder uh, conversions off of the fire uh, and stuff like this. Just, just kind of. Ooh. ooh, that was cool. Yeah, caught him mashing out of the air tech. You can't do that in this game if there's something, something there. <laughs> oh, Zoom is getting exploded. This is rough. OCG, yeah. Knock down into that. Whoa! Oh, Air tech yep. reset. We got we got the Shikambos. 
The yes. difference between a Shikambo and American Reset, for those who aren't familiar, is a Shikambo, you just continue on as if you <laughs> didn't notice you dropped and then pick it back up. All right. Zoom getting a good hit here. Look Cash shot was MP out, though. 50%, but also all that MP gone. And now Carlton Cation gets to play. Going to spin the wheel here. Yep, into yeah, the, the 4C. Yeah. And he chooses to go for that reset a lot. I usually like to do the wheel a little earlier, cash out the damage, but he's still getting good damage. And Inquisitor, her combos, as long as you're finishing the combos, she's a character who even her unoptimized damage is pretty damn good. Yeah. And that was a nice DP. Palpitation. Caught the roll recovery. Oh, my God. Oh, and the fake trying. out. Yeah. Zoom's trying stuff, but it's just like sometimes you can't try things with Lost Warrior, bro. You have no options. But, all right, first game goes to Carlton Cation. Oh, round start, cross up. And Zoom maybe doesn't know that the, it's hard to be prepared for. The the 6C command dash, you can't do that in a block stream. That is hella not real. Uh, I think it's actually just straight up punishable off of most buttons, but it it's kind of a jump scare. Oh, the cross up. And then caught him mashing on the other side. Going with the dive out. kick. Yeah, gonna just take the knockdown here, run into the corner, lays out the fire, Double spending fire. it at all. Oh my God, Zoom got, got mixed. Trying to hold up. Don't mash. Don't mash. Yeah, I, I don't, don't mash. I don't think he's ready for that air, air yeah, reset situation. He, he's just tech. He's like mashing buttons like his guilty gear. Where you have to tech, tech mash or something. You just got to hold that. I think he's also just not expecting to air reset into the wheel. Like he's, yeah. he's expecting the combo to be finished. Either by the wheel expiring or by Carlton Cation, like continuing the combo into a knockdown. But Carlton Cation, pretty content to just keep. Yeah, that right there. So I'm about that delay. Nice pickup. I dropped it though. Oh no. Okay. He is Good dead. Pickup. Oh no, he's too high. Wait a minute, he's not dead. He dropped the combo big yeah, time. Yeah, no, that was unfortunate. Aaron jumps. Can't be just jumping like that. People and the DPs. back throw. This is a big positioning switch. Oh, this is dead. He's dead. Oh no, no, no. Oh god. Nice teleport. Gotta be careful with those projectiles against this character, man. He has options for full screen. And that's sort of what I was talking about. Carlton Cation actually is going for the harder conversions off the fire. He tries to run up and get a 2B conversion. Uh, I like to do what I saw Tempest doing, which is just using raw 6CC as the pickup. You can do it from further away. It's just if you're too far, it, it just won't work. Oh, got him. Oh, oh wasn't facing the right way. That was really weird. Yeah, those are the interactions I was talking about. We're like, sometimes just goofy shit happens in this game. You don't, It's new enough that nobody knows what to do, and it's fun. Carlton Cage gets so much mileage out of jump uh, MP skill. Just takes it like that. Yeah. Quick work, Carlton Cage. Gonna, should stay there, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, know, we know already see board games saying, not yet, young man. <laughs> Walking up with the Miller Lite. <laughs> Rip Lost Warrior fans. <laughs> the end of the Lost Warrior run. I think uh, Board Games is probably the last troubleshooter in the bracket too, right? Yeah, let's have and a Carlton look. And Carlton Cation, the only in Inquisitor left. We're losing him. And there were actually a surprising amount of Inquisitors. Uh, there were at least three or four of us in the bracket. Uh, so I'll have a look at what we have in place so far for the top eight. This is the qualify for that last spot. So we're going to have the arm sitting next to me uh, running the striker against shenanigans. We've seen both Berserker and Swiftmaster out of shenanigans. Uh, Dinar was playing. He was playing uh, Kuno. Oh, yeah. Kunoichi. Uh, Alpaca on the Berserker. So potentially two Berserkers. Carfax also running the Swiftmaster. Mars on the Grappler. And Mars is very high up on that Grappler. He really believes in that character. Uh, Librarian yeah. Ganon on the Crusader. And our last spot is going to be decided here. It is either going to be a Troubleshooter or an Inquisitor. So I have this theory that, like, basically everyone else is getting exploded to Crusader except for me. I am. So I hella am. Librarian Ganon might just run, run house. Yeah. Run, run just yeah. house through the loser's bracket. No, no. <laughs> He's good. He's good. I was playing him earlier, and I was like, damn, this guy's kind of good. But I was just, like, smoking him because Striker Crusader is just so funny. Well, it was kind of funny. Like, uh, you got your first knockdown, and you went for that, like, triple overhead. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can hear him. Someone in the back yelling Primal Wonder. He, he literally asked, what's the good song? And someone behind someone him was like, Primal unprompted, Wonder. Like, literally yeah, unprompted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they couldn't hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They couldn't hear what he was saying. They just saw that on the projector that he was trying to pick a song, and they just yelled Primal Wonder. Yeah, that's sick. <laughs>
I'm glad to keep it going. This song's a jam. Let's go. All right, let's see if this uh, Inquisitor can show us something. Yeah, this is kind of a hard matchup. Uh, in the range, uh, Troubleshooter just has faster buttons. That's honestly mm -hmm. the whole trouble with the matchup. He just has faster moves. Nice roll, able to get past. Yeah, that was perfect roll. Good delay there. Going to take the OPG. Put himself oh, in the corner. Good stay. poke out. Oh, you're getting a combo now. Troubleshooter gets these loops that do so much damage. Drops it, though. Going to put him in Awakening. Uh-oh. Board game's looking a little shaky on these combos. Yeah, he, ha he has to keep this corner. Inquisitor Awakening is, like, not the craziest, but if she can get space to work, her 5D becomes very good because it... Uh, her awakening yeah. bonus is basically that she begins refilling MP a little bit faster than most characters after mm -hmm. spending it. Uh, this makes run up 5D kind of just like meter neutral. Like you just can do it in uh -huh. neutral and they can't do a lot about it. Yeah, I mean, the thing about awakening is like, you just get so much damage on hit. Like Inquisitor's combo routing is already pretty good. Yeah. So like, oh, oh this is big. Punish. Let's see what you got on the PP punish combo. Do whatever you want. Going. End and wheel? No, end and fire. Oh, and then, okay, I like that reset into the 5D. Yeah, it's really good because for some reason everyone keeps mashing at his, his air jet resets. Yeah. Okay. There's the DP though. This Awakening is in play. Oh, the DP. That was blue. sick. And that is a really big difference from Troubleshooter and Hitman. They might seem like really similar characters, point bleak, but Troubleshooter compared to both Hitman and Ranger will extend much bigger hurt boxes on his projectiles, uh, on his 5L particularly. Morgan's not watching his toes getting opened up. Gonna get the debuff into the knockdown. No, people gotta stop mashing there. Just take the knock. This is really funny because my thought was like, I do I do the 4C as late as possible so they don't pop up into that air reset so I continue the combo after it. I think I've been doing it wrong. Like just seeing it with Yeah, themselves. exactly. Just take the air reset, use it as pressure. I actually kind of like that. Complication. Looking real close to running Looking away Looking for the guard cancel. Oh, the late jump in, but the, the late hit of the wheel actually messed up that combo. Oh, it's so far, no way. <laughs> and he almost got a pickup from it. Board game's out of meter, though. This is a big problem for him. Well, rolls in, gives up frame advantage. Call the case turn. Watch out for DP. Push in further into the wheel. Look at that guard bar. Oh, no, you lost. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Good spend by Carlton Cation. Went ahead and cashed out that last wheel. Was the last of his MP. Uh, board games maybe could have guard canceled when he got in, but just kind of ran out of guard bar before he could pull the trigger on it. Might have been able to just shoot him at the start of the wheel, too. There was a big gap there. Yeah, that is a very slow normal. Yeah. Board games get a lot of, of mileage out of this shot, though. Yeah, counters only with that 5D. The 5D against Troubleshooter is, like... You want to do it from a bit further out. There's a range where his uh, 60 just kind of smokes it. Uh, but if you can kind of find that space just outside of that to where you use the sway back of the 5D to avoid it, it's a really good situation for her in neutral. All right, Carlton Cage got a ton to work with here. But uh, he has so much meter. Oh, no. Board Games keeps holding back out of that uh, fire, and he's getting clipped. Tossing him a lot. Next touch is game. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Not able to get there in time for the conversion. Just cooking it. Just cooking it. And this repeatedly. is what I was talking about with her awakening, right? Like, yeah, just meter regen so fast. Got to see a guard cancel here pretty soon. Yeah, he has he's going to gonna do another wheel. Yeah, he's just got to No, he actually opened him up. This dead. is dead. Yes. Oh super. My God. Super. One super. button super. Please, super. Do the super. Oh, oh, my God. People got, no. me. got me trick, bro. You got to spend it. So many opportunities. Uh, you can do it off of the, the ground bounce. OTG, I know it works. You don't uh, even in, in a scale combo that won't work. The the five. But that wasn't scale. No, you're correct. Yeah, it would have worked there. But even if you are in a highly scaled combo, the ground bounce from JD alone will give you the free super. You have to delay it just the tiniest bit, but it will always work. All right. Well, Carlton Cation back in there. More games. It's just kind of getting oh, hit. Good counter poke. Normal block streaks. Like really. Exploding for it. Drive kick. Oh, oh no, that hurts. Yeah, that does hurt. I have to go with the drink. I think he could have even chased with a grenade to do more on that combo, but. Yeah, gets a conversion. Probably gonna stick him right outside of Awakening here. Oh my god. There's the Awakening. 
Can't punish that. Yeah, I, I like that. He tried for the raw 6 e but gonna He's die dead. for it here. He's dead now. Ooh, that sucks. Board games evening up the game two here. Yeah, it's anyone in anyone's game. If board game stops like killing himself on things that he can't do anything about, you know, like air techs and stuff, I think he's got this in the bag. But uh, that's that's an if, right? You know. Yeah, I feel like he's playing around 5D pretty well. Oh no, just open up with the raw 6CC. That is so dangerous too. That is something that she cannot cancel on block without conversion, and it is hella punishable. Oh, that's a big one. Oh no, the oh the the, just the hit. It all. Yes, yeah. the uh, this is actually specific to troubleshooter DP. The first hit, I believe, it's either the first hit I or think the it's third. All hit. the hits yeah. are all projectiles. Yes, they will just wipe projectiles off the screen. Carlton Cation definitely believes. Oh, there was a button in the air that worked. Jump D. Oh, on the wrong side, but no oh. punish. And able to DP through the gap. Slight bit of a delay in the block string. Oh, neither of them getting hit. Throwing projectiles all over the place. Using that grenade. Oh, Great that use of the JC. Oh, he's getting close. No. I think that the dive kick also canceled out the projectile there. It doesn't look like it. Hard to tell, though. Yeah, that little explosion. I think that just cooks the fire on the bottom. All right. It's so weird. Honestly, this is like a one-shot game for either person. I Ooh. said it. Can, he, can Carlton Cation finish with Super, though? We... No. Oh, no. he cracked. Oh, no. no, but no punish. Oh, my God. Still Four one games still, still one in touch. there. Still one touch. A trade? Oh, that's Super. a punish. Okay. Oh, he's cooking him. Oh, my God. All this right. Match, match point Carlton Cation. There was a lot of spaghetti on the floor yes, in that match. Sure. But Carlton Cation able to stick it out. Ooh, runs into the DP. Yeah, board games. Board games. Obviously not afraid of DPing whenever he feels like it. Using, he's like fainting using the grenade. That is incredibly dangerous in this game because there is no air blocking. If you just stick out a big normal, you'll get fucking killed for that. I know because I die like that all the time. I die by doing an empty jump trying to faint something and they just hit me out of the air and do a full combo. 6CC, yeah. JC, JD, gonna have. Right outside of Awakening, it's good. Yeah, too much scaling there to continue. The roll, though, good side switch here. That was a big whiff, but no punish. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Again. That's what we said, though. The dive kick, though, canceling out the 5D flame. Board games to stay active and neutral. Just trying to put things out for Carlton to run into, but Carlton Cation saying, Cation, nice. nice DP. Good anti air. Really good. Yeah, her DP does not hit very high up. You have to delay it against those dive kicks a little bit. It was really good late DP there. And that was the back throw, and that's going to do it. Pushed him out of the wheel and then just yeah. got him, snuck the throw in there. You that's see that it. strategy from Tepes a lot? He'll run up. He'll do one button to maybe fish for, like, a guard cancel and then run forward, push the body out of the wheel, and then sneak in a grab. Teching grabs in this game. Kinda hard, hard, dude. It's hard, bro. I, I think you said exactly what it's like. When you see a throw tech in this game, one, the defender was not trying to tech a throw. Mm -hmm. Both players were trying to throw each it's other. The uh, yes, the guilty absolutely. Gear classic. Like you see a throw tech, it's like, why did? Wow, that was a sick throw tech. They just react. It's like, no, they yeah, were, they no, were, they were mashing, just, mashing. Yeah, like, <laughs> then, wow. then you know that whoever was defending, whoever was not having frame advantage at that moment, you're like, oh, you're one of those, huh? You just mash and throw on minus four, huh? Yeah, it's sick because a lot of characters have like ways to combo people on standing as throw baits. Yeah. All right, so, so I think. I think you're going to be up. It uh, should be moving on to top eight. Our winner semis first match uh, is either going to be Dinar against Alpaca or you against Shenanigans. So we'll see what see we have here. Though. Should I just go? I mean, Pinecone's over there. He might. Shenanigans might. Alpaca's in Strive right now. I see him. Shenanigans play Strive too. Yeah, it looks like Dinar's sitting down. So I believe... Okay. It's going to be uh, Dinar, a.k.a. Cam, up against Alpaca21. It's going to be our first winner side, top eight. Let's see if uh, Kuno can stop this uh, Berserker, man. Alpaca running the tear. No one's really been able to slow him down. Yeah, normally I would be like, leave him to me. No, not this. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, good luck, guys. Good luck. Have fun with him. Yeah. Hope you play someone good. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a uh, 
sometimes the answer in this game is sucks to suck, right? Like, <laughs> there's, there's just some really good moves, and sometimes the answer is like, hey, don't fuck with them. Yeah, hold that. But don't hold that too long, because you'll get guard broken. Yeah, uh, I, I feel like that is the hardest part about dealing with Berserkers. I don't know where the block... I know where the block string ends, but his natural block string just pushes him out far enough that yes. I can't DP there. Yes. Not just, you know, that's not an Inquisitor problem. Like, yes. very few... I can't do yeah, <laughs> I, I, I think Troubleshooter might have the only one with enough horizontal range that will, like, that third hit will make contact and be really annoying to punish. But otherwise, Berserker basically runs several buttons of a true block string, gets pushed out, like, to here, is plus or safe, you can't really do anything, runs to here, pushes a button, and puts you back into true block string. And that's it. <laughs> like, if you didn't find a way to take your turn. Now, some characters with bigger buttons, they can at least challenge in that space where he's pushed back. Although, uh, the pushback's pretty good, and he has pretty big buttons, so if you whiff, you're just going to get smoked. Alpaca definitely has the reactions for that. Yeah, Alpaca standing up from his strive match. Games was telling me some things about the Berserker matchup, so if I have to fight for Alpaca, maybe I'll try them. We'll see. Apparently, if Striker DPs the fireball, it's really hard to convert. You know, like when he puts the meaty fireball? Yeah. It's like one of those situations. I noticed that with the projectiles in general, they don't have a lot of hit stun, right? Like, uh, if you're not really, really there with your button out, you're just going to – they'll air juggle out, you'll whiff your button, and then depending on what button it was, you might get smoked for it. So I'll, I will definitely try that if I have to fight out back at some point today. Because that's every knockdown, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's the two fireballs. You can um, also, uh, Berserker Fireball does extend a really big hurt box. If he just like is doing it from pressure far away or in neutral, you can just slap him through it. Oh, well, I have to be. Yeah. I have to be. You just I'm, go I'm under it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not going through. <laughs> yeah, the one matchup I'm really happy that my fireball is grounded and not, <laughs> not like a normal fireball. So here we go, gonna be Kunoichi against Berserker. Yeah, let's see. Okay, get some space. Right into yeah, Frenzy. Yeah, pops the install. Gonna have some Got conversion hit. to work with. There it is, spending it for the double OTG. Yep, good amount of damage, gets the meaty. That's what I was talking about. Oh, oh instantly big, big. baited for a massive, Never mind. wasn't a huge punish at all. Yeah, I think he wanted that second OTG again after the conversion and just did it too early. That move right there. Is that ridiculous? A, what are the. Is that just a normal move? Can he just use that or does he it's have to be move. in frenzy? Yeah, he does need to be in frenzy, I'm pretty sure. The, the fact that it captures you into a restand after you jump is. It's like. It's basically a command grab that also hits you in the air. <laughs> like, it's mega busted. Oh, he's dead. That sucks. He got hit backwards. Yep. Get owned. Then Alpaca definitely has these. Like, he, he's very aware of the spacing he needs to get that OTG into super. Yep. Yeah, that was clean. Oh, oh, nice roll. Rolls through the two right B. Through. Yeah, finds a tick throw. Good start here for Cam. Not a whole lot of pressure from that though. But he's making him burn his leg. He's got him installed blocking. That's really good. Oh, pass down. Pressure. Yeah, and Alpaca wisely holding the conversion this time. He has so much great. Oh, he just lost it all. That last. Yeah, that one he got tap. hit by the tap of the flame. It was an MP move. It's good enough to clear the Grey Health, but he is going to have the extension available here if he wants. There it is. It's all good. And puts himself into awaken. Oh, no, the instant overhead. Yeah. I don't, I don't know think he can kill. Yeah. yeah. Oh! oh got him. Not quite a punish, but got him trying to move, and this is dead. Game one, going to Alpaca. Alpaca vigilant on offense, bro. You can't just take lazy outs. He'll check you everywhere. Trying to roll out of his pressure. Immediately there. Chops you up into death. Dinar got to gotta figure something out. Alpaca reward is just off the oh, charts right now. Backdash. Alpaca. Ooh, okay. Dope. Nice air to air. Frame traps with the frenzy there. Looking rough. Oh my god, look at all that red. He's not even building Greyhound. <laughs> it's, it's all unrecoverable health. Yeah, because he just he, he does like four MP moves a combo. Oh my god, he almost kills here. He's gonna kill next touch. Good block. That's a safe jump, that's hilarious. Wait a minute. Dinar still in this? 
Nice block from Alpaca. Nice the beat. Show right. me a kill. Show me a kill. Show me a kill. No! no! Fell on the wrong side. The bomb is there. Okay, good patience. Guard cancel back into the corner. Alpaca not afraid. He knows. He's got one touch to win the game. Oh, yeah. That is, there, that's it. Yep. Oh. Dead. Hella dead. No, you hate to Feels see Feels bad, it. man. And I think that... You know, it's just that one weird interaction on that combo. Maybe if Cam would have neutral jumped or something instead of uh, the forward jump wouldn't have uh, fallen out the other side there. It's just a really weird character floating not where you expect it. And that's what I was talking about, right? The the difficulty of the combos being, like, can you steer these straight hits into your consistent route? Okay. Gets a neutral advantage. Got some, got some life. Oh, okay. open up low from hella far. Yeah, you can see... Dinar is just not trying to take any of this pressure right now. Nice delay. Got the stagger counter hit. Probably can't finish here. DP's out. Still gets marked, though. Yeah, that, I, I think you'll take that DP. With the amount of health he has left. Oh, oh don't no. No, he didn't have a meter. If he would have had like enough for one MP skill, I think he just obliterates him there. Has the air. air oh, nice. got the air kunai. Okay. This is a good round for Cam. I mean, he, you know, the, it was a, kind of a, a heartbreaker in the previous round, but stayed in there mentally. He came out really strong at the beginning of the round. Had a little bit of pushback from Alpaca, but, you know, Dinar hung in there. Version combo route. Just I can't believe there's just, like, unlimited OTGs. <laughs> like, as yeah, long as you have resources. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> Damn, that looked like he was baiting it. Oh. What? Why does that reach so high? It moves rusted, bro. That's like the the MK11, that Baraka, the, the spikes move. I don't know if you've seen that move. <laughs> Where he just like shoots like porcupine shit out from his back. Alpaca yeah, 21 though. Yeah. I'm gonna get up there. Moving on to winner's finals. Gonna face the winner of our next match. It's gonna be the arm coming up against shenanigans. Bada Max boom. Stuff. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm out of bracket. Yeah, me too. I, I lost to Carlton in the mirror. I actually played like two of my three matches were Inquisitor mirrors, which I didn't really expect. I had the worst set against Mars I think I've ever had in Final Fantasy <laughs> history. Because it was just like, it was just block button check, and I was just like, no, I can block, I can guard this like a normal fighting game. I've oh, that happened time. to, uh, that happened to Cafe Funk. He didn't know about block Lost button War. against uh, Lost Warrior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That, that, this game has some characters that will check that. Grappler's one of them. Boss Warrior's another one of them. Yeah, and I think for players like myself or Mars, uh, you know, heavy Grand Blue players, yeah. we're actually in pretty good shape there since that's that's uh, a mechanic in that game as well. Uh, a guard button in addition to traditional 2D fighting game blocking. Yeah. Primarily used to avoid cross-set mix-ups. Yeah. It's, uh, it's going to be very difficult getting used to, but I'm here for the long haul DNF, so... You know, uh, I had mentioned before I wish the game had a dash button, but after seeing how bad back dashes actually are, maybe it's good that I can't do them on command. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> you'll just, like, accidentally get yourself killed every yeah, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I keep doing it. I, ironically, I get myself killed by thinking that that back dash, that is a back dash button. Oh, but you don't have Awakening yet, so it does nothing. <laughs> and so it's like I'm trying to just, like, back dash away, and then I ended up just standing there, and then my guard, like, flickers. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So <laughs> I end up getting opened up. I don't know. It's going to take some getting used to, but this game is so sick. We're just talking about, like, Strive versus DNF. Because Domus was like, oh, they're both trash. And I was just like, no, no, no. There's a difference. I think that this game, and, and I this is hard to articulate because I think that this is pretty, pretty subjective. I think that Strive and Street Fighter V have something in common in that they're very unfun to lose in. Uh, when you lose and strive, you feel like a dipshit. There's <laughs> not a way around it, right? Yeah, like yeah. It, it, it feels like you're the stupidest person in the world. This game, usually you're laughing when you lose because <laughs> yeah, something like, fucking dumb happens. It's like, how the it, fuck did that happen? Yeah, exactly. It, 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 <laughs> it's not that the other person necessarily... It does have the thing where sometimes the other person just has some obnoxious fucking move that destroys half your move set. Right, right. But that's usually not why you lost. You lost because some very weird interaction happened and yeah. some Marvel 3 shit happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, or it's just like, you know, oh, I guess he had Awakening. 
Yeah, and then, yeah, sometimes <laughs> you just get hit for, like, 80%. There are some times where I, I like, consciously end my combo early you have because to. I'm like, I don't want to put him in Awakening right Yes, now. characters like uh, characters like Hitman, yeah. characters like Crusader. Yeah. Um, Grappler. Grappler, even. yeah, absolutely. There's some characters who are just so dangerous. Yeah. It's scary. But the thing is, like, I like that level of thought process that, you know, that doesn't really come in most other fighting games where it's just like, I should probably just get hit here. I should probably stop this combo early because if I do more, it's going to be harder for me to win later. Like, I think that that's a really cool thought process. Yeah, and, and that is, uh, you know, for games with the Awakening type of mechanics uh, or other kind of low health mechanics, that is something that comes into play, right? That's yeah. a normal, you know, Persona 4 Arena uh, strategy, right? Oh, yeah, okay. I know Chris Chaos was saying that there's a lot of similarities. Yeah, with this. I, I, and on the other side, uh, abusing characters like Berserker who have, or like uh, Troubleshooter, who can put themselves into right. Awakening. Right. That is also a really big part of it. It's like knowing when you should spend a little bit more or, you know, maybe take a hit or something, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, there's a good cadence that you can build between like offensive and defensive mechanics, considering the, f or like offensive and defense, considering the fact that like, you know, uh, in most other rage, uh, oriented or range mechanic fighting games like Tekken. You know, Tekken's one of them where it's just like, oh, I should probably end this early so he doesn't get into rage. You know, this one you and, can and actually do it And the buffs are unique too, right? Like that's the cool part is the awakening, uh, the, the passive buff that every character gets. Every character does get a passive buff while they're in awakening, but it's character specific. Everyone yeah. has their own, yeah, totally yeah, yeah. different. Some are better than others. Like this guy. Yeah, his is because his good. can heal. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, Berserker. I was, yeah, I was talking with Great Frame Man earlier. We think like top. He thinks Sader's a little overrated, but like amongst the top is definitely no, these I, two I think, characters. I think Crusader has enough hard counter picks that you can't consider that. I think the top characters are going to be more well-rounded. These yeah. two, as you mentioned, I think Troubleshooter is maybe up there. Troubleshooter, uh, maybe. I don't know. I feel like Troubleshooter I think Troubleshooter is just very well-rounded. He just ha doesn't have a lot of holes. He's a consistent character. Yeah. yeah. He has consistent weaknesses. It's not really, like, matchup specific. I'll give you that. Like, you know, everybody can kind of fight against him in the same way. Win or lose. But uh -huh. these characters are just like, dude, what do you do against this? You know what I mean? Going for this triple overhead. Okay. Yes, there's three. <laughs> what do you do? I mean, even with fuzzy protection, like, you still get opened up. This game does have fuzzy protection. There is fuzzy protection, but uh, Striker on against taller characters can still instant overhead. That's part of why she can... You, we talked about Crusader having some bad matchups. Yeah. Uh, one of those is, in fact, uh, Striker able to instant over him from relatively far away, actually. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that the fuzzy protection is supposed to be just, like, when you're already in block stun. Yeah. As the the cost of protection of Block Sun is also substantial. It is a huge window. Right, right, exactly. All right, going to bail out. Oh, still cut her out of the air, though. Nice pickup. Yeah, against the overhead. Huge. All right, all oh, missed the conversion. Now Arm, I don't know if he's going to like take a huge mile with this one. He but is going to go ahead and push into Awakening. He should get a safe jump after the DP here. Oh, my The overhead, God. but he wasn't ready for the conversion. I think because only two of the, the hits connected, not three. Okay, arm backing off, and now the guard cancel is spent, so he's sitting at half frenzy. Yeah, the arm's in the corner. Oh, oh, shenanigans. The one oh no, that was a shoulder tackle. Yeah, so a shoulder tackle. Shenanigans reeling in the seat. I learned today that counter hit doesn't add bonus damage, only no. hit stuff. Yes. Interesting. Pretty common for Arch's games, actually. Okay. Uh, bonus, like actual damage on the move that counter hits is more of a Street Fighter thing. Okay. All right, noted. Oh, anti air DP and gonna get the full combo. Oh, I'm sorry, no, just gonna get that knockdown, but not a real safe jump. Or cross slid underneath that. That's yeah, he had mentioned that actually right before he got up. Able to combat that Berserker Fireball very well with the slide. Nice. Can't Good all the spacing slide. too. Yeah, that 2B slide, able to get it right at the toes. Yeah, I think that punished the Frenzy activation as well. So now Shenanigans has to be very, very wary about just doing that in neutral. Good block in the overheads this time. Starting to learn, has a big jump. Yeah, so I'll punish on the throw with. And the big thing is, ooh, might not get an opportunity to show dead. it. No, oh, no, no TG. And again, messes up the, the safe jump timing. Gets the cross up, but too far for that 2L to reach. Yeah, but he'll take this oh, corner. Oh, this is big. Yes, this is dead. Yeah, this oh, actually yes. is dead. He wants to just No, nope, just do the super. super. Yo, yeah, there man. it is. There it is. Yeah. It's OTG anyway. Nice. Yeah. I, that combo was still twice as long as it needed yeah, to, be. to be. You, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> when you get that first hit, you do your knockdown, you do your OTG and the super. You just get them into just enough health to die. I mean, she started it. at that health. That's like, true. Yeah. <laughs> he could have even just done the super rough. 
Okay, shenanigans. Has the first what? point. That hit one. Yeah, so outreach break hits on both sides, unfortunately. So this game cannot. is fucking dumb. Yeah, this game's, I love it. This game's tight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, no. I, I, that, trust me, that was a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, has him in the corner. This is messed up here. We're gonna get the full thing. OCG, DP, hard knockdown here, and then he gets the safe jump. Good block. Oh, these DPs. I mean, Shenanigans is delaying them a little bit, and he's finding the right delay each time. Gets the grab. Not a lot of Ooh. advantage for Striker on the throw knockdown. This could be massive. It's definitely going to... Oh, okay. He decided not to go for the full thing. Shenanigans is really going to see it. I think that was an unintentional drop as well. Oh, the vacuum, though. This, this should dead. be dead. Oh, and yeah. that's what I'm talking about. There we go. That's what I wanted to see earlier. So the thing is, like, yeah, I mentioned earlier in another match where if he continues the combo, he'll actually push her out and of, of being able to super. So good for him to recognize, like, oh, I just need to do the uh, mountainous wheel and to super right here. So now he ties it up. Arm actually is, this is the first game that Arm lost, I think, today. Yeah, definitely one of our favorites going into the bracket. Nice, still pops. Good damage here, solid 40%. All right, TP's out. Now we're back into the mid screen. I know Arm wants to be blocking his way over into the corner. There it is. Oh, Shenanigan shaking his head. He's upset that he got opened up. Maybe he tried yeah, to Yeah, it was the delayed. Uh, I, I, the Arm is hitting me with that a lot too. He's very good at delaying his MP moves until the last moment. You think it's your turn, and then she, her cancel windows are gigantic. Yeah. This might be dead. No, no MP. I don't yeah. think he can finish yet. No MP. Okay, nice. Guard cancel, guard baited, cancel. and the punish. Dude, Arm has been so consistent with those today. Like with, with, with guard canceling when he really wants to, or guard cancel baiting when he wants to. Really <laughs> Try to take a turn. Caught with the dive kick, and this is a rough start. The Hail Mary dive kick, too. Okay. Safe jump this time. Yep. Made it all. What a punch. Solid. I love that you called it puff ball. I'm going to be using that one. That's a lot of fun. Nice. Keeping that block string tight. Slowly whittling the garbage down, but oh, took the hit that he made out. There's the grab, down. and that's gonna seal it. The arm moving on to the winners' finals. It's gonna face off against Alpaca. Yeah, Alpaca, another Berserker player too. Uh, and this is this is actually something the arm mentioned. He he was hoping Shenanigans was gonna play Berserker so he could get some more Berserker strats headed into if he had to play Alpaca, because Alpaca's looking pretty strong tonight. Alpaca has been really like a Berserker loyalist since the first beta dropped, and I know that he's been really wanting to explore that character to the fullest potential. So here's Mars. Sw uh, freed me up in yeah. the set. And Speaking losers. about someone who is all in on their character, Mars is very high on Grappler. He, oh, he yeah. thinks Grappler is... In his words, he thinks Grappler is the best Grappler character in a 2D fighting game in like the current and can you the, the current wave of games. Can you like can you dissuade that? Can you like fight that in any regard? Because this character, obviously, he has command grabs in like any normal command grab. I would sense. say that uh, I I would say that I'm not gonna try to claim that Grappler isn't great. I am going to say that that's how you know this is a bad game because any <laughs> game where a grappler is strong is a bad fighting game. It's true. It's true. Any any game, I mean, like, that's the thing is, like, we're st as the game kind of comes out, we're starting to understand where characters fit on, like, strength and weaknesses. And grappler has been, you know, still relatively yeah. debatable as grapplers usually all, all are. All I know is if the dev team made a grappler strong, they don't know what they're doing, they shouldn't be allowed to make fighting games. Look, that's, I don't know. This... I name, think that's a, a universal rule. Name a bad aiding grappler. Uh, Thor's kind of whack. I don't know. He's more big body than yeah, a grappler. Yeah, exactly. All right, but Slipmaster, contender for one of the best characters in the game here. Because of that, like what you're seeing on screen right now, the, the sword, the spinning winds, the spinning mixer. It's a. Uh, it, it's just like a neutral invalidation tool. Oh yeah. God. Speaking Holy of neutral charge. invalidation tools, <laughs> yeah, I was I was getting some water, but I wanted to point out that Swiftmaster relies on projectiles a lot, and uh, Rappler does have a <laughs> projectile skip move. He does have a like I don't feel like dealing with these fireballs move. <laughs> it's a vacuum. Mars just goes, I'm just going to DP through I'm it. just saying, why would you bring a grappler closer to you? <laughs> if you have a vacuum, this is the character you don't want to use it against. Oh, that Ooh. was tight. Nice chase down. Actually missed the drop kick, though. 
Okay, cutting through. Nice conversion. Yeah, Mars is really aware about like when he wants to convert to make himself safe after the shoulder tackles. Yeah, pretty good life lead here. Yo! Whoa! Ooh, what happened yo, there? What happened there? I don't know if he stopped walking. I mean, he definitely just stopped walking. Yeah, Carfax trying to get away maybe, tried to backdash or something. I think what it was was Carfax saw the fact that it traded the first time after the conversion, so he thought, okay, maybe I can just stop walking and so I can be able to convert quickly. And then it ended up just blasting through. But here we go. Carfax got the pickup that he wants. Uh, nice. The right. loops clean. I'm really looking for the DP, too. Yeah. Oh, that was a scary whiff. Yeah. The thing is, like, okay, so we memed about it a little bit earlier. Oh, 5B, full screen, 9 frame normal. But it's also got hella recovery. All right. Good up. blocks by Mars. Yeah, outstanding blocks by Mars. Oh, now he's getting opened up. And just as much as Mars kind of dominated the last two rounds, very dominant round by Carfax here at the beginning of game two. Yeah, Carfax really picking it up. Nice. Let's do it with the 5B confirmed. But not in the corners. He's not going to get any loop situation out of it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> no loops, though. It's a little too far. Keeping it safe. Yeah, staying as far away as possible. I really like the space that Carfax is playing at right now. Yeah, Mars trying to shoulder tackle his way through it earlier. Now he's going to have to like organically find his way out of this corner if he doesn't actually just die here. I don't think there's too much scaling on this. There is yeah. a lot of scaling, but... Able to clear out that gray health at least. Okay, yeah, the loops don't do enough damage. And no MP, he has to be careful. Guard, Guard cancel. cancel, yeah. Uh, there it is. I think the conversion is actually what's killing him. I think if he just goes in for the regular shoulder tackle, the pushback might be enough uh, to get him away from it. But because the conversion ends up, you know, stopping him early. Oh my god. All right. Yeah, curious to see how this game three is going to go. The two games prior were very one sided in either direction. He hit him twice. A oh, he's dead. He's, he's dead. dead. Yeah. Actually so dead. that was a two interaction. Okay. <laughs> That's a grappler ass round, dude. And this, like, I don't, I don't. Should I be glad? Like seeing Swiftmaster get smoked in two touches. That's great. Oh, that feels But good. also a grappler one. So I yeah. don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. That, that, that's that's the nature of it. You always have the grappler versus like the low health character. You don't know who to root for because low health characters are usually a piece of shit. Uh, yeah, there, there's a reason they usually are. Yeah. Except Inquisitor. That's just. Injustice. That does seem unfair. I will give you that. It seems like she should not Wait, be alone. Her and this character have yeah. the same health? You're I, telling me I that? I don't think that that's fair. <laughs> I will I will completely sympathize with you on that. <laughs> she should be a 900 health character, at least. Ooh, that was a scary This whip. is really scary, and he was in his face. Oh, All nice. right, and match point, both players. And again, the individual rounds have been one person does not get to play. Is this last round going to be close, or is someone not going to be allowed to play? Yeah, I feel like the first person who starts blocking actually just loses the round. So let's see how Mars Oh, he got reset. He got he opened did. up with the low. This is rough for Mars. He yeah. set him out of MP still on Carfax's side. So he's seeing, he's seeing it now. He's seeing that after the, the double Rapukin gets whiffed, that he tries to 5v, and it does end up whiffing. Nice! Oh, oh no, might. that still works. The reset, oh yeah, a little Lord. early, actually. Ooh. Oh, the clip, he's dead. Yeah. Oh, no, no, he's not. no, no, he has no MP. This is really dangerous for Carfax. Oh, just full, full Is he going to DP? He does? You've oh! got to be kidding me. If he doesn't die here. He's dead. No, he's dead. Let's I can't believe it, Mars. Even Carfax is like, dude, I can't believe it. That was so scary for both of them. For Mars to just fully charge in his face as the vacuum. Like you said earlier, why would you bring a grappler to you? And then he just tanked through everything in his face. That was pretty sick. Chris Chaos, Arm, Board Games, everybody, crowd favorite clapping here. I can't believe yeah. it. We're the terrible local. Don't, don't put yourself next to the grappler. That is the, like, first rule of fighting grapplers. All right. It should not be me, grappler. It should be me, grappler. I, I don't know about <laughs> the people at our local anymore. That I had a, I just witnessed They're a round of applause. Grappler. I just witnessed a round of applause, standing ovation for a grappler. Yeah. All right. I mean, if you're going to have like a cool grappler, you got to have the guy named Grappler, okay? I'll admit, Grappler is really cool, and it's not because of like the strike throw enforcements that he has. It's just like... I, I just appreciated that because of the naming conventions being named after like job classes and stuff, yeah. as soon as the characters were announced, I was like, oh, I know who I hate. <laughs> I don't <laughs> have to true. spend any time researching. I don't have to lab anything. I'm like, oh, who, who's the biggest scumbag in this game? Oh, they called him Grappler. That's great. That's, That's perfect. There it is. That's all you need to know. Are, were you a DNF player? 
No, 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 you no. You didn't no. play DFO? Okay. No, I have not. Uh, I, I actually hated MMOs. I only played 11 for a really long time because I was a Final Fantasy fanboy. Like, right. I didn't actually like MMOs. Yeah, yeah. You uh, just... And then thankfully, you know, 1.014 was so bad that it cured my MMO addiction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't don't hop back in. You know, you'll you'll be. No, every time every time I see 14 and realize that they made it a good game, I'm like, thank God I got out while that game sucked. Yeah, yeah. 14 1.0 like actually suck suck. Yeah, it does suck. <laughs> okay. Oh god. Tengu is drunk. <laughs> Thank you, Tengu. Several people are. That's true. So I believe we're uh, just waiting on Carlton Cation uh, to get out. So it's gonna be Carlton Cation against Librarian Ganon up next. Have a look at our remaining top eight here. Carlton Cation, a very surprising Inquisitor performance to come out today so far. I'm very happy I, I to see that character succeed. I want to talk to him about the character a lot because there's some things that I can't tell if he's doing on purpose because they end up working really well. Yeah. But it's either intentional resets or it's going for combos that don't work. <laughs> yeah, there look like there are a lot of situations where he ends, like where he puts he, himself. He does wheel very late in the combo so that they're guaranteed to air tech out. I just don't know if that is the specific intent. Yeah, exactly. Because he'll do he'll do wheel and then he'll drop the oil and then he'll just like get one hit as they're flying out. And then he does he just presses advantage super well. And I think that. He's a very momentum-heavy Inquisitor character, which is not some or a Inquisitor oh, player. Oh, hold on, Dinar is sitting down. Let me find out if they already played. Oh yeah, let me play. find out. Hold on. Yeah. Did you play Contemplation? Uh, did you? Or no, get it. Did you play Contemplation? There we go. We sorted it out. So our top eight has been set already. Uh, we didn't have any matches off stream, but we just wanted to clarify with the yes, players. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Cam just sat down too early. He, yeah. he plays the winner of this match. He just, yeah, and I see Carl Tication coming through right now. So yeah, we're, okay. we're good. We're he's, good. He's here. He's excited. Wait, he's where like, the hell did Willie go? <laughs> <He's>, uh oh. <laughs> All right, this is my first time seeing that spot empty. Yeah, this is proof. I, I, I appreciate this because this is proof that one, it is in fact a live feed from my house, and yeah. two, Willie does in fact get up sometimes. Yeah. Oh, hold on, look. He's behind the bed. Oh, he's not actually gone. <laughs> he's behind the bed. What's he, what are you doing there, buddy? What do you do to keep that bed so attractive for him? He's just old. <laughs> oh, okay. Sleeping when you're old. Trust me, I'm old. Uh, sleeping's, <laughs> sleeping's very attractive. Yeah, yeah, true. Oh, yeah, that's why you're uh, you're taking some, taking a, not no hiatus, but uh, I know you were offered to do the pit next week. Oh, you, you to know take what? Some time, I did right? up, um, I actually am on call this week. I thought I was going to be on call for work. Yeah. Next weekend, so I can't really like leave town. It ended up being this week, oh, I which see. works out. Like I might even come to pit just to hang out. It'd now be nice that I know I'm free. I don't know. I might also just hang out. Uh, yeah, dude. I, I don't get a lot of time to do that. It's in a literal cave. Did yeah. you know that? Yeah, Have dude. You Every time I've done an event in Minneapolis, it's been in a really like weird, <laughs> cool venue. The first Red Bull Conquest we did up there, uh, it was in like a train station. Uh, <laughs> the second one was like in a like presentation room inside Mall of America. Oh, I've, I've heard about that one. Yeah, 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 like it's just always, Rick always finds really cool venues in Minnesota. Yeah. Also, uh, the LK crew, before you head back, Rick will tell you about it. There's a place called D-Spot. It's a chicken wing place. You guys have to go there. D you, was swearing by you it. You have to. You, yes. is it, you said it's called D-Spot? D-Spot. Oh, that's why D yes. No, 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 she's, she's just had it. It's she knows what's spot. up. She knows it. All right, Carlton Cation versus Librarian Ganon. Inquisitor Jeez. versus Crusader. Uh, we mentioned Crusader has some pretty bad matchups, kind of keeping him from being top tier. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if this is one of them, because this matchup felt really fucking hard when I played it. Oh, when you were playing it? I can imagine it being really difficult their for buttons, Inquisitor. Their buttons are like roughly the same speed, Yeah. but and Crusaders reach twice as far. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know. All right, this is a match of the Lord fighting for the Pope's right hand. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Straight through the projectile. Yeah. The, so the 60C does not have any, like, projectile in bone property, but she does duck down a bit. There you go. You can see it, yeah. right? But that right there is hella punishable. He can just 2A punish that really easily. Yeah. So now he's starting to respect the splash sphere because he just knows. Yeah. 
Because, yeah. like, because, like you said, it's super punishable on block. So Carlton Barbarian actually Cannon. spaced that one really well, though. As long as you're outside of Crusader's 2A two two range, you're in pretty good shape. Yo, the DP. Best DP in the game, Callisto. I don't know about that. <laughs> the ones that you can cancel on block to be safe, I consider those to be the that best DPs count. in the that's, game. That doesn't count. That's <laughs> not real. She actually has to pay consequences for her <laughs> DP. That's not a real, Striker's DP is not a real DP. What the hell is this? Point blank. Uh-oh, he's in his own corner. Okay, yeah. the wall. The wall dissipated, ball to run and up. And this is scary. So because of the Awakening, where you can see she's building meter back. She doesn't build the meter back quickly, but she begins building it back quicker. So you can just start throwing all these moves out. Guard rate started to become an issue. Yeah, the benefit of it is, is like you don't have to worry about doing inputs. Uh, not only that, uh, the big thing, this right here, that 5D, 5D is incredibly important for Inquisitor neutral. Oh that is goodness. her neutral. And yeah. when she's in Awakening, it basically becomes meter neutral. You can yeah. see there, look how quickly she's already regaining. She's going to be able to end this block string in another one. Actually yeah. going to go for the wheel. Oh, nice. Bit out the guard cancel. And I can understand that. When you see the character go into the air, you want to try to just use the fact that it's, nothing is air blockable. To try to just swat that wheel away, but that good was the spacing. first round. That was such a long round. Yeah, that was round. a really long round. I don't know why people think. I, okay, so it's not a big conversation, but people are asking today, like, should this be three out of round three out of five, two out of three? And I was like, this game goes long. Yeah, I know. When when players know how to deal with each other's characters, this is actually a relatively slow game. It's great, it's great attack. Yeah, fantastic. Put up another wall, even closer this time. Remedios active now, and then this is just going to be constant damage. The smiting. Oh, tried to pick up. Oh, yeah, put that, the, that shield is still there. Yeah, Remedio is still active, so the JM actually ended up clashing into it. Flash spheres for the pressure. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me, he punched through. Dude, that was like the shit when the two samurais go at each other and one of them falls afterwards. <laughs> He just 2 ate her that and then sheathed his own arm into his sleeve. <laughs> that was tight, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? This game is sick. <laughs> <laughs> You're all close. You might be onto something. Your character probably sucks. <laughs> no, I think she no, it was the command dash, not the roll. They do have a really similar animation. Okay, I will. All right. Okay. All right, runs into the fireball. Nice little pickup there with the air projectile. Oh, this is a big pickup, though. Wheel. Yeah. Gonna go straight nice. in this. This is what I'm talking about, right? He takes that air reset intentionally. He could do a longer combo, and he appears to be doing the 4C a little bit early, popping them up into the wheel, and then just using the wheel air reset to continue the pressure. I am curious as to whether or not that that's intentional for the sake of, like, advantage afterwards. Yeah. Or if he's, like, or he's if just, they, he just hasn't gotten, like, the long routes down yet. Right, exactly. I don't know. Okay. Oh, he could have done another wall to start the loops and bring him towards him for, like, massive Oh, damage. this is big. Yeah, that's actually going to be not death. No, but not dead. Yeah, kind of a. Oh, oh yeah, I think did he it too wanted. Fast. That, no, that was supposed to be 236D. That was supposed to be the, the fireball. Okay. Not fireball, but you know, the fireball input. The three hitting move that you can juggle after. Right, right. Okay, this isn't dead. So we're going to see how this. What? what the? Excuse me? What? Okay, maybe scaling? I don't understand. This is a clown shoes asset so far. <laughs> Yo, this guy's. We did. We did mention, for the record, uh, Inquisitor is tied for the lowest health in the game. Correct. So, you would think having the slowest normals that go half the reach of everyone else's wouldn't also have pixie health, but this game is wild west. That's. We're all aware that stealing is is a sin, right? It's oh, not he a can. Survival. He can actually combo. Uh, if he gets that 2L, he can just link it into itself. Oh, sick. Okay, nice. Molotov coming out, he ended up swinging into it, and now he took that advantage. Fire wheel, not gonna go for a cross up here, just tries to go for a high-low. Oh! Shutting down the 5D with the wall. Oh, nice roll, nice. didn't quite get away, but oh no. Yeah, this is gonna be dangerous here. Good delay there. That's the, the some of the nuanced stuff that Carlton uh, definitely has down. If you get an air juggle into the two hits of 5C, you uh -huh. definitely have to delay the 6CC. Oh, gonna that's get a him. big punish. Yep. And he wants to take that gray life. Yes, there you go. Pick go up. GG. Try to get some. Yeah, nice. I like that. I like him using Molotov to just like try to set up a meeting situation instead of over. This should oh, do it. He yeah. should do it. Yeah, this should be dead. 
can get OTG. the OTG here to extend. A lot of scaling, but I think he's fine. Yes, yes, yes. yes. There's a guts, but it's just like blast through the scaling as much as possible. Yeah, um, and Carlton is, is doing, uh, not doing like mega optimal routes, but he is doing ones that are very consistent for him, which is more important. Right. Like not, it doesn't matter if you could be doing a higher damaging combo. If you drop your combo, it's always going to do less damage. Absolutely, yeah. So it's really scary for him every single time. Nice. Nice. Able to get the opening. He has the delay on the 6cc. Okay. More wheel damage coming out. Just like little... Oh, no! That's but that's very... the danger of the air reset that I was talking about, right? You, right? you don't have like a firm advantage. And also because the wheel animation is still there, nobody can see anything. It's well, kind of... What's it's even scarier about that situation is, you know, when you shield it. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, hella dead. Well, when you're coming out of an air tech, you can act as you're falling. So unless you're trying but to, like. But it's not like Exert, right? You're not in Bulm or anything. No, no, you're not. So that that is a fair assumption. Like, when you you have to balance, like, what are what you want to do. That's kind of specifically how Carl Pikachu got a lot of damage in some of his matches, was people not expecting the air tech off the wheel. They thought he would finish the combo after yeah. the wheel and just air tech out, and they push a button on the way down and got hit. Shoulda. Oh, no, the flash spear ended up hitting, and now this is a super scary situation. Yeah, this is... As they say in the NRS community, this is uh, only a real master comeback. Oh, within the DP, and oh, was that a nice. punish? I think it was from way downtown. Carltication. Yeah, great oh, run for no. Carltication, finishing in seventh tonight. Yeah, that was a really good run from him. It was nice to see the Inquisitor player of that caliber like be able to make it this far into the bracket, you know? Yeah, because it's a character that I want to see results for. Like, that's a character I, I've been... Uh, I'll get him next time, don't worry. I'll, I know I, you will. I know you will. Leave it to I, me. Leave it to me. Most of it is just because I know that that's a really good character for you, and I know that she's not as weak as she seems. Honestly, the only things that she can't do that a lot of characters have, it's mostly just the lack of safety on, like, 6cc, uh, not being able to really cancel it on block without conversion. Uh, she has to do kind of just, she just has to be a little more risky. And I, maybe it's, like, it is risk assessment for sure, and it's also just, like, she has to, she does have to work really hard for the exponential reward that she yeah, gets. Yeah, neutral against some characters is vastly harder for sure. For uh, sure. Characters that are have less range, her 5D does really well in neutral. It oh, shuts yeah. down a lot of the screen. Uh, you're really important, uh, and, and something I noticed that Carlton was going for the hard conversions from it. He actually tries to run up and get like a 2B, 5B, or a 2B, 5C. Yeah. It's very hard to, even though her run speed is so fast, yeah. there's just not a lot of hit stun. You can instead, as soon as the uh, the five D hits and the flames start hitting, you have to delay the tiniest bit. If you do it too early, you, they won't get launched because the last hit of the fire will mess it up. Uh -huh. But you can just do six CC, launch them, and then do like JB JC six CC again after, and you get a really consistent route from yeah, it. Yeah, it's a pretty good. I mean, like, well, consistent if you can get that timing down, you get like massive corner carry off. Yeah. If you happen to hit that mid screen, and I mean like. For that character to be, I want to talk to Carlton about those advantage situations where he ends a combo. It seems like he's ending combos early in order to be I, I, I feel like it's it, but then there's also times though where he has the wheel up and he pops them into the wheel, and then he's sort of like just tacking on like a JB and a yeah. JC in the air, and then that didn't work out, yeah. and he got scooped because they landed at a time where he didn't really expect. So, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, I wonder if it's a timing thing or if he's just like winging it from <laughs> yeah <laughs> from beta. I mean, knows? it is it is a new game, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, of course, like every character is going to be optimized and opened up. Yeah, you know, there are going to be characters that are going to come in and out of the woodwork. I feel like, you know, who knows, maybe Lost Warrior ends up being like the worst character in the game. I think so, it, uh, because if you guard button him, he dies, right? Right, like, right. Not, I, don't th I don't think he's the worst character in the game. I think that the knowledge checks, uh, once, once you know, people know how to defend against him consistently, he will go down. I do think the characters that are just well-rounded, not mega risky, uh, you know, striker, striker. Uh, troubleshooter, as I mentioned, Swiftmaster, yeah. Characters who, like, don't have to commit mega hard to everything are right. in really good shape. And also fast buttons. I think fast buttons is really important in this game. There's a lot of very slow normals, but, you know, you have characters with uh, a six-frame jab like Berserker who is... That's crazy fast. Yeah. Most, most 5As in the game are, like, eight, eight to, nine. to nine. Yeah. yeah. 
And then you have, like, yeah, like, five-frame characters or six-frame characters. So, like, Dragon Knight's five frames or six frames, I want to say, Berserker is really as fast. Like, Striker especially. Yeah. Like, those characters are going to be the ones that, like, are able to, like, push their momentum extremely hard because they have, like, you know, everybody's got a DP. That's the one, or except Ghostblade. But everybody's got, like, a, a fun functional DP to an extent. I thought so everyone having, did have a DP. I didn't know that Ghostblade didn't. So Ghostblade has a teleport. And it's ah. not it's not <laughs> invincible frame one. So okay. it's, it's like the worst uh, situation to be in. But you know, having that kind of a bar is uh, is very very important for you to be able to you know, defend yourself against a lot of the BS that this game has to offer. But okay, here we go. Mars already getting opened up. We get shenanigans. Swiftmaster. Okay. I sort of like that. Like the the Swiftmaster pick on shenanigans side. Grappler is not someone you want to scrap with, right? The way that Ooh. the way that Berserker would. So one thing that Mars and I are still trying to figure out and debating is whether or not command grabs are throwable. Because Mars swears that they're not. But I've seen situations where Mars has gotten thrown out of his command grabs. Yeah, yeah. that could be the command grab whipping and getting punished with a grab, though. Yeah, it could be like... I don't know. It feels like it's startup, you know. But who knows? We'll see. Mars getting this massive damage. Oh, that's a big drop. Okay. I'm surprised that that punish wasn't as bad as it was. But Mars still still alive. And now, if he wants to try to defend this out. Uh, oh, he just got clipped. Yeah, that should do it. Yeah, there it is. And we saw a really tight match uh, last time. Mars was up. He also played against the Swiftmaster in Carpex, and that match was someone getting dominated every single round. Uh, there, there, there was just completely one-sided rounds up until the last round, which was pretty close. Yeah, and we're seeing like a different kind of uh, offense come out from Shenanigans. Nice, actually, fun stuff. Look at all that gray line. He's got to get that MP move in. There we go. Yeah, there it is. And he keeps him out of Awakening. That's big. Going to get the punish Ooh. here. I think he can kill here. Yes. Yeah. Yes, great. Perfect. Yeah, really, really great sequence there for Shenanigans. You know, kept that combo ended a little bit early just to keep that Awakening off the table yeah. and then made sure he had the resources to, to kill on the conversion. A big oh, anti-air here. An anti -air. Yeah, that's another thing too, if your character can actually genuinely anti-air. <laughs> Feel like there's not I don't know how to anti air on Inquisitor if you can't DP it. If you can't DP it, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I know she has some other anti airs, but they're, they're not easy to use. I'm in the same boat as Dragon Knight, where it's just like, okay, I get like 6S and I get like yeah. uh, 4S, but oh, nice. But are they good enough? And then with both of these characters, I have genuine anti airs. Why is that plus on block? Yeah, I think. You know that my dive kick is punishable? Like, just actually punishable? You can act out of your dive No, you can, but it would be nice to just be plus in their face. Oh my god! Oh, I thought he was dead! Where awesome. did that hit? Gotta use that guard Gotta button. Use the guard button. Shenanigans knows. He's a Grand Blue player, you know. Yo, the He's second shoulder. One. Good roll. Yeah, I agree. And now Shenanigans, you know, Shenanigans has not been afraid to vacuum him in because he's also just allowed to enforce the strike throw, but actually gets clipped. He, he's also used the vacuum at some spacings where it's actually too close to hit, and he's able to set up a tick throw with that because there's no hit stun. Oh. Right, right. Okay, the command grab getting stuffed by the 5A. And he is in Awakening. He might be able to make some shenanigans happen. Tower oh, hit. How do you get hit? I wonder what Mars was pressing in that situation, but now he's blocking all of this. Guard cancels himself out. Oh, oh no, you died. Oh, not able to get the conversion. Interesting. Oh, okay, cancels the DP. Wait, what? Which, oh, what was the latest hitbox? It was pretty late. Okay, that's safe on block. That right there. Oh, strike yeah, throw. doing it so that it doesn't actually hit and put them in the block stun. So you saw Mars flash the parry there. Uh oh. Because I'm sure you. I, don't, I wonder if you guys saw the tweet. Yeah, so, you can. You can parry it, it. It will parry strikes rather, or it'll grab strikes. Yeah. So so Swiftmaster's uh, charge S. It's actually a strike. That is not a projectile. That big ass beat tornado thing. So we saw Zen Mars try to go and like whiff that from full screen. And we'll oh, this see is if dangerous. He, can, he yeah, gave up his awakening. Oh. Woo! No. Okay. Shenanigans. He, he's shaking yeah. his head. He was breathing heavy. He's like, he Match did not point. think that that was going to work out for him. But I forgot I forgot that there's no invuln on supers for a second, too. Correct. Wake up super is actually pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah, wake up super, not the best situation. But he thought that he was going to, like, dash into him. And, it and block, maybe, or something. Yeah, so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh-oh. Oh, this is going to hurt. He's 
Okay. Probably gonna want to end this a little early, actually. Ooh, yeah, it. ends for it. I wonder if Mars is gonna be able to like react. Oh, good at all. whip punish! Oh, it was a whip but punish, and it was super smart because the the vacuum from the the orb actually this is a big drop. Yeah, it must have messed with Mars's uh, spacing because the orb actually kept him from traveling as far as he wanted. So that's a nice real. punish, dude. This matchup looks so hard for Grappler. I can imagine why Shenanigans picked Swiftmaster for this. Instance. Yeah, no, like I said, I don't think. If you have an option of playing the character who gets to flip around all over the screen and zone and do all this stuff, yeah, why would you play the strike throw run up in, in bulldog character right. that you also play? Well, it's because also think of how the way that Berserker wants to reinforce the strike, the the, the pressure is yeah. he has to use Bloody Twister into conversion. Yeah, and again, such a, bringing the grapple yeah, to you exactly. Whereas in this one, it's just like, all right, I'll bring and I can enforce strike throw. I don't have to, you know, make it myself. Plus with conversion, I can just like you know, uh, reinstall that pressure or push him back out. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that must be a exceptionally difficult matchup for a grappler. And Mars, I think he handled it really well in some areas where it's just like once he got a hit, the momentum that carried him was just like he ran with it. But trying to play that neutral was impossible. Not going to happen. Too many obstacles out on screen for him to try to, like, armor through. Yeah, and that's, uh, you know, for a lot of zoners, you got to learn the pattern, right? And it's very individual. Like, different players are going to have different patterns. Okay. Thank right. you, Sean. So we're going to have uh, Cam, a.k.a. Dinar, coming back up. And they're going to be facing off against Librarian Ganon, who yeah. we saw on that Crusader. Yeah, Cam, a uh, very, very highly active Kuno player. I don't know why they switched seats. I think that they're just on the wrong sides, and they didn't just go out to the menu to switch it. Oh, yeah, that's true. When you go to character select, that's how that happens. That's why I always return to the main menu, just to be able to reallocate the players if you don't end up doing I, that. I always do that, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, also, I can also, it's my PS4. I'm sitting on P1 side, and I'm picking the song. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Dude, I, I told him. I told Dinar. I was just like, yeah, you got to pick Primal Oh, Wonder. no. So what was really sick earlier was Board Games was up here, and he's like, Hey, what's the good song? And he's like getting my attention. He wanted to know what to pick. Yeah. And some random person didn't know that that's what he was doing. They just saw him. Not like, picking Primal Wonder? They, no, they saw him like cycling through songs. You just hear someone yell, Primal Wonder yes, from the yes, back. Absolutely. 100%. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I responded to you too. I was just like, I'm so sad that like you can't pick the vocal version. Yeah. Because that's the. It's one of the best songs like in fighting games, dude. Oh, hold on, let me get those knees flipped. I forgot they they swap seats there. All right, now we're in there. So Dinar on that Kunoichi, good movement, gets underneath the air fireball. Yeah, this is gonna be really tough for him considering Kunoichi is a relatively low damage character and Crusader being as big body and big damage as he is. But one thing that really works out for him is he gets a lot of mix-up options because of how big Crusader is, but oh no. Yeah, but you have to be able to move in a live to yeah. mix somebody up. Why is Kuno not low health? Lowest health. You know what I'm saying? I mean, oh, nice. this is a ninja. They get trained, right? Okay. They're all right. Okay. It's all the, it's all the, yeah. it's all the padding from the bomb. Probably immune maybe. to poison. <laughs> Dual wielding, of course. Okay. I like Ooh, the roll. The roll into the punish. Yeah, that's one of the big weaknesses to Crusader in that situation. And this next mix-up is going to be very important. I would like to see Cam leave a little bit of MP on the table. Good blocks. Yeah, really good blocks. Guard cancel. Hopefully properly utilizing that guard button, the flash spear, applying that pressure, dominating the neutral. And then next. another good roll, able to get the punish. This won't kill, but it's going to be... Oh, the, yep. oh, the pop! Yes, the bomb added a little bit of extra damage on there. The stain. Not bad. Sir, that's a jutsu. All right. <laughs> can you can you not? <laughs> <laughs> can you not? All right, Solid. DP. Oh, did it clash with the flash sphere or was the wall just gone at that point? I think it was just gone. Uh -oh. oh, yeah. Off of a 5S, too? This is going to hurt. Oh, don't go through the reset? 
Gets the grab, has a bit of a life lead, and gets the mix up. Shikuno is an exceptionally good character in that, like, once she does hit you, you have to respect what follows up because of the seal on you, you know, because of yeah. the fire. But the problem is, what you mentioned the damage, even, even if you can do, like, the perfect combo to leave Crusader a pixel outside of Awakening, yeah. you, you actually can't kill him. You won't still kill him. Yeah, unless without, you have your own. Yes, awakening. exactly. That's what I'm saying. Unless you have a super to spend, you can't. This, this amount of health right here. This is the worst situation. This yeah. is actually the worst situation. Yeah, you, this is like a two or three touch interaction. Oh, wait, I know, hold this on. This is a good starter, though. Not a lot of scaling. I think oh that he's my. got it. You actually caught him just out, just in the awakening. Okay, nice. Yeah. This corner going really well for Cam so far. Yeah, I think it's uh, off of the, you know, depending on the starter. You know, the 5S starter has been really working out for him because he doesn't have to deal with as much scaling. You know? Nice check on the forward movement, but a perfectly placed jump. Yeah. Cam is in there. Okay. I like this corner lockdown. Oh, but and the good roll. Punish on the roll. That was very smart. And I like that Cam is really consistent on getting these side switch routes after getting a punish. Like, getting that punish on the roll, he's able to put the opponent back in the corner pretty consistently. Good pressure with the two A's here. And there it is, the punish on the roll. Oh, I like the kunai conversion just to run behind it. We're seeing this is a match that we're starting to see conversion be used in ways that we haven't seen all night. Because you'll, you'll usually see it in like the, the Berserker fashion, but uh -oh. these guys are really seemingly really optimized. Oh, oh no. no! Optimized, you know? With their conversion routes, you know, applying, for, like utilizing projectiles and then running behind it with the conversion pops. I like seeing that. We're learning a lot in this matchup too. And Librarian Ganon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice set up the remedios. Oh, but the teleport yeah, actually. Yeah, good use of the teleport. Yeah, subverts that situation overall. Oh, nice. Saw the whiff. Runs through. Good check with the 2A on the other side. Good movement here. The Librarian Ganon playing Crusader like a, he is a mobile character. Yeah. He's kind of not. Yeah, I like. He seems like really speedy, and that's not just like, you know, he's, he's playing really patient. Oh, he almost had the pickup. Look at the back dashes. Yeah, he's playing really patient. He's using like kind of like lower recovery buttons. Oh, he's dead. All right, tying it up in the loser's corner. He, I like, I like how you, you, you mentioned. Yeah, he's he's playing very very mobile, or he seems a lot more speedy than most other Crusader players. And I think it's like, what he's throwing out is very calculated. He's not doing stuff like that very often. And it did go unpunished, but... Oh, man. Oh, Far knockdown? Yeah. That's sick. Okay, seal applied. Gonna have to respect. Oh, tried to catch with the... the nice wind. jump! Oh, wasn't ready for the combo when he landed. Still in a good position here, though. Oh, the DP faded! Not punished, though! Oh. And the roll and the side switch. This is devastating. If an MP move makes... Oh, no, he spent... That was such an expensive conversion. It was, and it was definitely not worth yeah, it. Yeah, and didn't even get, like you said, didn't get anything for the neutral skin. Yo! The delay DP. Cool, good roll. Very good roll. Punish. Has him in the corner now. As long Trying as to work against that wall. Baits up the DP. That no punish again. So unfortunate. The, the, the Sage Toad Ball, Fireball, actually just passed through the corner. So Ooh. it didn't interact in the same way that it does a normal corner. It just flew through. So now Librarian Ganon at set point. Seizing that opportunity. I don't know what to do. He just has walls in his he just pocket. He has to sit. He has to chill. He has to wait it out. You can also try to like wait out for Remedios. Okay, good pickup. Yeah, nice pickup here. And it's going to be a decent amount of damage. Applying that fire seal. Oh, unfortunate. Yeah, that DP with it being armored properties. Oh, man. He's flexing it really hard. Awakening here for Cam. Also on his last legs, though. No meter, though, here for Ganon. Yeah, no meter available for Ganon, but he's already in Awakening, so that was fire. Man, he is going in with that DP right now, though. Okay, nice. The Jutsus are going to do a lot more damage now, so hopefully it's enough damage for him to only make it a one more touch situation. Oh, nice. Take his turn back. DP. Oh, guard cancel. Oh, this is big. Yeah. He, he has this is actually... Oh, no. That's a scary drop. Has the grab. Still can't kill here. No meter oh, for guard no. cancel. He's I think dead. that's dead. Yeah, that's hella dead. Wrap it up. 
So unfortunate. That was definitely Cam's round. But... Is what it is. That's gonna do it. Two to one. What? Yeah, that's it. Two one. You're good. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, they they had a little confused. Okay, okay. Dude, when you're in the match, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know, no, sometimes you're like, no, run it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who knows? Uh, it was really funny. Over earlier in Strive, uh, Spidey, Mikey, and Goose lost track of the set. They didn't know <laughs> what the score was. They didn't know who won. <laughs> And it's a mirror, so that's what made it a little funnier, because it's like, oh, you guys got confused. Yeah. But yeah, these two, all right. Good stuff. Yeah, just two Enos floating around. Oh, yeah. Not yeah. paying attention to their surroundings. Yeah, just throwing out, you know, cycle crushers. All Both right. of them are very cycle crushers. I am uh, I'm really excited for this oh, next match. Oh, yeah. Coming oh, up yeah. next, it's going to be our winner's finals. It's going to be the arm against Alpaca. Uh, I do think, even though several people look pretty strong tonight, these two have stood above everyone else so far tonight, so I'm really excited to see what they pull out against each other. I think, yeah, definitely our strongest players in the house at the moment. Uh, and uh, I mean, the results are showing because they're obviously in winners' finals, but you know, this is probably even going to be our grand finals. These these guys are like consistent performers in the games that they play. Alpaca has like been super passionate about this kind of game for a really long time, and he's you know berserker yeah, loyalist. Yeah, I, I would say that. You know, Ganon with that Crusader is definitely uh, the next the next closest yes. favorite, I think. But that would also mean getting past the loser of this match. And either way, that's going to be real hard because Super tough. Alpaca uh, might have even already gone. No, they were on the other side. As I was say, the arm already 2-0 Ganon yeah. in winners, and that matchup looked awful. Yeah, <laughs> it was. And, but the thing is, what's also funny is that that matchup is terrible for Crusader. In yeah. both ways. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, whether it's going to be Alpaca or Arm, that's going to be a big hill to climb. So, yeah, here we go. Yeah, All right. No surprises. Berserker. For, yeah, and I'm pretty sure, like, these are the two characters that these guys are going to be playing for a really long time. Because considering, like, Striker is such an Arm-ass character. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> like, when high, you're high execution, high speed. Yeah. You when know, you're, when you're big combos, big set play. When you're gauging off of, like, yeah, if we are just going off of, like, Exit Ramlethal alone, you know, like, like high execution, but you don't get to play the game. Same with nine and CF. Oh yeah, Rachel. I mean, he was a Rachel player before that too. Oh yeah, true. He was. Oh, DP's off the bat. Yeah, that's what we need. That's what he needs right now. Okay, good blocks coming from Alpaca so far. Just gonna have to defend his way here. Yeah, that's the important part. So he did bait. Oh, great facing on the dive kick. Alpaca did wait out the delayed magic cancel, which is really important against this striker here. The pressure, and he blocks all three overheads. Good stuff. Yeah, the thing is, okay, all right, finds the guard point. Alpaca doesn't really mind having to block all of that and taking that damage down, considering the Awakening is going to benefit him regardless. He wants to be yeah. in that Awakening. That said, that guard cancel to get out kind of hurt him. He was meter star for a while, finally building a bunch out, but not going to get an opportunity to play yet. Big roll with the DP. Oh, man. And the thing is, that DP could have been disastrous, too, for Alpaca, where it's even if he blocked it, right? Because that was just going to be more pressure. But I pressure. think he was far enough away. I think if he wouldn't have stuck out a button, it actually would have whipped. Yeah, that's a fair point. Yeah. All right, this time, able to get the first hit. Has good combo. Going to get a solid 35, 40% on the board here. Nice. I love the way that he uses the conversion. The whiff, but oh, he did get the punish. So much recovery on that. Such a big difference between making striker TP with and blocking it. Yeah, absolutely. There's a combo. Yo, what a loop. He's got the mana for this. Score cross oh, and overhead. the overhead. And Alpaca storming right back to take the next round. Yeah, look at that. Momentum shift immediately. That looks like an even round if you look at the health bars, but all that meat, all that health loss was Alpaca spending it on combos. It's true, it's true. Okay, nice. Arm now locking him down here. The pickup. Goes for the shoulder tackle there, but tries to just go Good for another block overhead. Put the stagger into the 2L. Yeah, the dive kick is not an overhead, so Alpaca just respecting and understanding. Sitting pretty down there. Now, yeah, big check. Puts out the 2A right as the arm tried to run in. Gonna get out of the corner here. Berserker, though, not like the biggest corner car carry character. I don't know what you're talking about, man. He's, that Never was mind. coast to coast. Never mind. Dude. I actually thought that combo would have ended like four moves prior. I thought he'd just run out of one tech. What? Time. 
just the raw Tatsu? Okay. Yeah, and there was just no health left because Apaka spent so much health on that long ass combo. So that's the thing is Berserker is a it's it's very expensive for him to get that kind of situation, but he can definitely do like crazy damage and corner carry. But he's spending a lot of mana, he's spending a lot of health. So good stuff to arm to exploit that. Now he's just Oh nice. wow! Nice, he did challenge against so the arm, uh, last time he tried the delay magic, Apaka waited it out. So the arm actually tried to delay his cancel even more this time. Yeah. Apaka just sort of had the read that he would do that and challenge. And yeah. it was a great option, especially with that super fast button coming out of the worker. Absolutely. Yeah, good stuff for Alpaca to stay patient. But now he's back in the corner here. Hard knockdown coming out. Good blocks and delay DP. Down with it. Bloody twisters over the reset. Oh, he Stagger actually pressure. he caught Arm's conversion because I think Arm was trying to guard cancel. Oh, what a DP, Deep. great recognition. Yeah, I saw uh, Alpaca was trying to come down with the Ash Forge. Yeah, the dive kick. I, I think that was a bit of a flinch from Alpaca going into the air to begin with. That was just not a situation you want to jump in. Right. Yeah, because it's like it's way too close for Arm to be able to yes. react to DP. Yeah. But okay, already spending a lot of mana here, but that's gonna be about like forty-five percent. One thing that uh, we see a lot of other strikers do is that they'll do dive kick right after that Tatsu in the air for the hard knockdown. It pops them back up, but you still have advantage. I'm curious as to why Arm doesn't opt for that. I think oh. he might just be conserving MP. Oh, the outreach break oh, caught! This is dead, dead. dead. Yes. Very nice. And again, Alpaca losing the first round in the game, but then storming back in round two. Yeah, let's hope that you know, he's able to pick it up even further than this because just the round is not enough, Alpaca. I mean, he's a very momentous place player too. Like, judging from like the other games that he plays, Blake Viking, Strive, who just like wants to just like get the yeah, hit Yeah, uh, former Laura player in yes. Street Fighter V, Giovanna in Strive prior to Viking. Okay. Definitely likes to play the characters that can snowball. Oh, caught the back dash, but because it was a back dash, juggled out and didn't get the full hit, and the vacuum is gonna make contact yeah. here. Fireball Oki. Install. Nice, yeah. It's not Bloody Twister reset again. And he has so much health to work with, but no oh, magic. Wow. This is it. He's dead. Yeah. Nice. Just needed the DP. And there it is. 1-1. One, one. This is winner's finals. Uh, so it is going to be a 3 out of 5 here. Bloody Twister coming out. Right, the arm has the knockdown. Now, he was missing the safe jump a little bit. Yeah, that looked a little late even there for the three overheads. So we'll yeah, see if Alpaca is going to risk that DD at some point. Okay, playing it close. Oh, so it's a winner's final. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, okay, Meaty Gore Cross here. Oh, the slide. This is going to be dangerous here. Or not down, taken away. But again, if Alpaca can find his way out of this and start his momentum. Oh, the DP. Yeah, like, delayed DP. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this is okay. He has the corner. Yeah. He has to be careful of the DP, but. He does have to find the hit if he wants to start healing all of this back. That said, the arm, even though a DP will finish this. Yo, look uh, at the guard. He's, he's dead. dead. No, no, he couldn't no TG. That's dead. No. That's dead. The double bait. I mean, like the guard cancel getting baited at right after the guard crush, too. That was really, I could hurt arms mental a lot. He did shake his head a bit. Yeah, definitely didn't, wasn't happy with that round. Storming back here, though. Yeah, you see there, he, he made his frame trap with the MP move a little earlier that time. Trying to see if Alpaca would challenge again. Alpaca, though, content to block. Okay, let the Bloody Twister second hit just ride out. Oh, caught it this time. Arm shaking his head. It's going to be a lot of health cost for him to be able to pick this all up. Nope. Actually, yeah, thankfully uh, for the arm, there was just so much gray health on Alpaca's side that actually finishing that combo did end up evening the life lead a lot. Yeah, nice slide in. Orange Punch picks up after with the low kick. Oh, oh he's okay. fine. Yeah. Card cancel. That was an expensive card. Dude, what a big whiff. He's dead. He's got to be dead. And Body Alpaca first. going up two to one. That was just, you know, in a vacuum, that was such a minor mistake. The arm just misspaced one move. Yeah. And 
It was just at the wrong time, and Apaka was ready, had the whip punish, had the conversion into super, and that is it. Two to one. Yeah. It would have been nice. It was a good round opening for Alpaca in this one. He got the counter hit JV and tried to let it combo into the Ash Fork, but it ended up not working out. Now he's in the corner here. And this guard guard is guard gauge is just gonna get whittled down, but no, the 2A coming out. Stealing the momentum back. Let's see what he's gonna spend here just to work out of the corner. So far, most of his resources are down. Bit of a drop, but finds the reset. Yeah. Arm and he's an awakening. If he gets another hit, it's over. Oh, that's dead. Oh. Yeah. Hella dead. I mean, uh, Alpaca's moving on to match point. Super, OTG. Man, in the first beta when this didn't OTG, that was this was a rough character to succeed with. But Alpaca, now at set point here, poised to move on towards and grads finals. Round two. Not only that, but he's on uh, three straight rounds, four straight rounds actually, going back to the second game. Yeah, I, I think it's uh, I think it's more or less just because Arm is not keeping his pressure gapless, or oh. even. I also some of it is that that move is fucked up. Yeah, the DP <laughs> is pretty messed up for sure. No, not the DP. Oh, the, the, no, the body twister. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that, that move is actually wild. Yeah, because Arm is trying to like obviously like press forward and like keep his advantage, right? Or jump out, and it also kills that. Ah, uh, he tried. To, okay, so all the outrage break. Good patience here from Alpaca. Spends the guard cancel. Still has the meter advantage thanks to the arm being in exhaustion. Oh, he took the hit. But he's not in. Yeah, awakening. he's not in awakening. He can't kill here. Go across, but now he's far back. If the arm can make him, oh, baits oh. off the guard cancel, and that's going to do it. Alpaca. Yeah, that Good was pretty. Stuff. That was really clean. And I mean, like, that RPS situation after the bloody twister vacuum, it's really difficult to deal with because you know he's going to converge in order for him to make it safe and continue that pressure. And that's the guard cancel point, right? But it's very, very scary to want to guard cancel after that yeah. because of situations like that. He's ready and he's willing to bait it. But, you know. Good stuff to Alpaca. Didn't one thing that he didn't enforce, I was just curious because this is like kind of data that you collect in the matchup, is that that is an RPS because he can vacuum you, conversion, and then command grab you. Yeah. Didn't do that. So, so Arm just uh, needing to press out, but he's going to sit on the loser's final side. And now we're going to have Shenanigans and Librarian Ganon back up on the Loser Semi. Going to see the Crusader versus either a Swiftmaster or another Berserker. So, you know, hopefully the arm gets against a uh, Against Crusader, I feel like we're going to see the Berserker. I, Swiftmaster, yeah. I don't know. Swiftmaster can mix the shit out of Crusader, but the health, the pixie health and everything, just so dangerous against the fat normals and the big damage. Yeah. But right now... Yeah, so you're right in that, like, having a really low health pool against this character is exceptionally dangerous. Yeah. One thing that I think benefits Swiftmaster and Shenanigans in this instance is that he has so many tools to just dominate neutral. He can invalidate Flash Sphere. He can invalidate, not necessarily invalidate Wall, but it, with him constantly pressing forward with the uh, with the spinning swords, with the with the tornadoes. And I think compared to the match we saw with uh, Cam against Librarian Ganon, the damage for Swiftmaster is much higher than Kunoichi's. Oh, uh, yeah. That, sure. that does help even out that big body help a little bit. Bates out the DP uh, and... He's dead. <laughs> okay. Yeah, kind of a funky hit there. Yeah. But still great positioning, but nice run up using the fast buttons to check the neutral. Using the orb to have the loot. Nice. And he's going to take that advantage here. Now he's got to work his way back in, but the vacuum, there it is. Yeah, one of those tools that's just going to stop Crusader from wanting to do anything from full screen. He can't throw out a flash here. He can't try to just stay through yeah, all the Yeah, and again, videos. the difference in the startup speeds of these two characters is becoming really apparent right now. Bates up the guard cancel. Yeah, because the, the thing is, he's putting him in a close range situation, and Crusader doesn't have much yeah. that he can act out of quickly. And even in the mid range, uh, Shinami's Shinem doing a really good job of like run up 5 now. Like, right. you know, closing the gap to make it a close range situation. Yeah, Remedios. Oh, this is going to do a hell of damage. Puts him into Awakening. Oh, no! Oh, just what? got hit by the fireball. I don't know what he tried to do there. It runs into the fireball again. 
good. I think that he tried to pop the sword, or like this, the shield, but it actually didn't come out. So Sacred Up for getting blocked and now punished. Oh, shot. What? Nice, nice. He gets a whole combo for that? Okay, he, he needs it. There is nothing that any character has in this game that they need. <laughs> There's not a single he needs it move in this entire game. Not moves, for sure, no. Inquisitor <laughs> does need 50 more health, but I think that's about it. <laughs> All right, caught him in the combo, and now he's got him into Awakening, so he's going to have to work a little harder. Doesn't have, like, nice punish in the roll. He's been very consistent with these. No. Nope. Is he dead? I think so, yeah. Wall bounce? Yeah. Nice, nice. nice. Oh, so it's like, even though he does have a lot of health to work through, Swiftmaster damage output is still enough, you know? Yeah, and especially shenanigans has shown he has the routing down. He knows what to do when he gets the hit. It's very important, like, I don't think optimizing in a new game is mega important, but when you want to put away a big body, high health character, it, that difference is pretty apparent. Yeah, I mean, especially when there's, you know, tournament money on the line, too. You want to make this as efficient as possible. Yeah, really. Oh, yeah. What What is payout? Top three? Yeah. So this is yeah. pretty literally, yeah, money, the, just getting some money versus no money. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, and Remedios. it's only a two out of three. Oh, no. Whoa. Didn't he, get the full combo. That was such a messy situation because Remedios popped and it tanked one hit of the DP, but he ended up not punishing the DP. Try to OTG there. A lot of great help on Shenanigan's side. Yeah, just hold it. Just he hasn't wait. gone for the grab in this situation yet. Just content to run the block string and finds the hit. Yeah, just trying to fish for that counter hit. He wants all that damage coming out. Now here we go. Not only that, but the guard bar is actually pretty cranked already. It's already half down. He has a lot of MP to work with. Oh. He finds the hit. That looked like an overhead. That was pretty nice. I, I think, think it was. I think that conversion was supposed to be, I think he wanted to guard cancel the first button that he blocked, and instead he ended up doing wake up conversion, oh. spending some of his gray life there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Backing right back into mix. Runs up to the sick throw. Oh, shot. Sweet. Gonna get the, the the wall is actually helping him because he can't move backwards <laughs> away from the combo. Exactly. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, oh, I got wait, I got hit. I got God. hit. You got hit, dude. Oh, the oh no was for me. Pick up head? Are you serious? Wow. <laughs> it's fist bump. Do it. The whiff the DP come down with the button. Dude, that was exceptionally fast. Bro, I got fucking game. mixed. Dude. I thought that he dropped it. That happened earlier. The same thing. That's the second time I've seen it, and I still got mixed. Yeah, yeah. That was that was clean. I, I was really, really happy to see uh, the mix in that regard, where it's just like whiff the DP or whiff the with the two S, and then just come down with the button. K uh, Kunoichi has like similar stuff there. Uh, but it takes a little bit longer for her to be able to come down with the button than Swiftmaster, the mix master. Yeah. So, yeah, good stuff to uh, Shenanigans for making it a quick 2-0 over, moving forward over against uh, against the arm. And man, arm. Hopefully, will not eat this guy alive. I, I would think that in this specific matchup, because the last time these two faced, it was the uh, Shenanigans chose Berserker in this. And I wonder if he thinks that, you know, Berserker has, like, higher amounts that of tools. Was, that was a 2-1 match, too, keep in mind. That was not a 2-0. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, right. Shenanigans did get a game with the Berserker, so he might stick with that. He's checking his buttons. It looks like he's on the Swiftmaster. Yeah, I would think that Swiftmaster will, like, benefit a little keep bit Keep up more. with the mobility against Striker, and also he can lock down more of the screen yeah. to try to keep her. But that said, he has a lot of, like, mid-horizontal moves yes. that she could probably 2B under. I would think that there's a lot of stuff that he can do to lock out Striker. Yeah, like the, uh, the double tornado. Yeah, double yeah, 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 exactly. So there's a lot of things that Arm is just going to have to be, like, very, very conscious of in his offense. So... We'll see oh, what this song's off. so good. Oh, yeah. All right, so the immediate backing off of Shenanigans. I and like there's it. the 2B already. Oh. Look at that. 40%, if not more. Yeah, okay. good block in the overhead. You know, the level one knowledge check so far for Shenanigans against Striker looking good. Does run into the DT. Oh, no. Oh, no, that reset was so disastrous. Didn't get the pickup, though. Yeah. Too far for that 5 L to OTG. Oh, that wasn't a whiff punish. That just ended up working out for Arv and not it. 
like, oh yeah. Well, yeah, shenanigans put his head down for a moment. Like, I did that. I yeah. did that. An arm nod and like, I did not deserve that. And okay, there I he like went this. for that 2B slide. Shenanigans called it out by exploding the orb. Okay, nice. The vacuum ended up actually working really well I, for him. I like that on both sides. If your arm, you do the roll early and see if they're scouting it, and clearly shenanigans is. Oh. That's another thing too, the vacuum will really mess with arm's timing on like when to run up and press a button to get that faster increase. Windshield, okay. good anti-air DP. Ah, uh, the Ooh, DP vacuum did it. Oh yeah, the DP itself vacuums you in. Oh, he didn't kill. Oh, there it is. Ooh, yo, the, the storm strike. Titan knuckle? Yeah, yeah. Titan knuckle. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> That's sick. Okay, nice. This is gonna be a massive damage. Oh, did oh, he do a big drop? Yeah. The punish. Big. That's actually the second time in in the last two rounds that the arms missed an OTG. Faded. Kept it safe. I like that little frame trap situation that it is too, where you're like, oh, you see a DP and you think you can interrupt the. I think that against Striker, if you're gonna save jumper, you have to do the uh, the OS into your own DP, like yeah. you OS the DP on your landing. Yeah, you have to. Okay, back and reset that pressure. Has it been oh, he just nice. pushed the button trying to hold his ground, and the windshield did the work. Yeah, it's gonna keep her like right outside awakening as well. So he doesn't have to deal with that bonus damage. Oh, but will it matter? Yeah. The arm not going to need bonus damage here. Taken game one. Not at all. All right. Game one in the loser's final. Dude, the rematch is so fast in this game, it's kind of hard to stream. Yeah. <laughs> like, just getting the, the scene changes done and the score set and everything. Like, yeah. whoa, 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 guys. Yeah, this is, sometimes it can be a really, really fast, explosive game. And other times, it's just like, dude. Oh, it's just compared to most current fighting games, the speed of the actual rematch. Like, somebody oh, pushes rematch. rematch, and we're playing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm so happy about that. Oh, this is fine. Oh, jeez, jeez, jeez. Nice DP. I'm like letting the auto complete, do all the work, and not looking at what I'm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Losers. Yeah, no, this is good. System. Yeah, exactly. This is good. Losers. You know what it is. You see the auto. We're deep in there. Oh, what a what patience coming out from Arm. Good block on the overheads. Pressure. The late two V cancel though. Wow. Shoulder tackle. Quick work. He wants that rematch against Alpaca so bad. And it, at this point, if this turns into 2-0, I'm curious if Shenanigans is going to bring that Berserker back. Yeah, he... I Especially honestly, seeing that Alpaca just beat the arm with Berserker, right? Yeah, he's got to see, like, the potential. Oh, okay. Good blocks. Yeah, just backing off. He's out of mana, though, so he's going to have to back off a little bit lower than that. Yeah, he needs enough to get an orb out just to lock down that neutral. You can use that Tornado to shut down the 2B, but he said getting clipped. Oh, nice Ooh, the shoulder, shoulder tackle through the projectile. That was nice. I didn't know that was projectile in Yes, it is. Yes. And it also will pass through Crusader's wall, which apparently is a projectile. Arm. Fading out the DP. This is going to hurt. He's definitely That's, dead. Oh, my God. The chunks. Yeah. Dude, Arm speed running this loser's final right now. Trying to make his way back to the grand final. And he's instant rematch. Oh, yeah. I mean, I would, too. Sticking I'm it out steer. with the... The Swift Master here. Yeah, I'm curious as to why Shenanigans believes in this match is so hard. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the 5B? Oh, didn't get it. I think he tried to push a button too early and he was still in block stun. Whips the slide, doesn't pay for it. I, I find that's been most of the time actually when the arm has gotten blown up. A lot of it has just been that. He went for that 2B slide right as the other person decided to jump, and he just needs to full jump in. Yeah, it's really unfortunate, like, the timing that he has for it. It's not always, it's not particularly there yet, but when it does work, it works. Ooh, oh, my. The Is trip that anti-air 2B? It had to have been, yeah, like a trip Excuse guard 2B. Me? That was ridiculous. Unfair. Swiftmaster, yet again. Okay, back and up. another like big whip punish on the slide. I like it, I like it. Okay, he's gonna break him to the corner now. Nice, uh, the loop. Oh, whoa! Back him back into the mid screen. The arm will definitely take this. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> Shenanigans backed off too. I think that maybe he, that just didn't do what he thought it would. I feel like maybe. Yeah. 
Okay, shoulder oh. Clock, look at the chunk. Yeah, look how much mana he has, too. He's definitely going to take this and run. And you have to be careful. If you get a guard cancer or a DP baited here, you're dead. Yeah, he wants it. I can tell. I mean, the guard. Oh, my God. No pickup. Guard canceled. Good. But didn't actually end up getting space from that. Good jump out. Yeah, really good jump out. Now this corner's his. Yeah, that's awakening to work with. I don't even know what his passive buff is. It, it gives him bonus movement speed and his dash. Oh, he needs that. that. Sure. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so like that, that this should be dead. Yeah, this should be dead. No, no he, he dropped out. it. Spend your supers. Oh, no. Okay, able to find the 2B. Oh man, that was almost disastrous for him. So yeah, he gets bonus 50% bonus movement speed. And he 50? 5 0? I'm pretty sure it's 50%. I'm pretty sure it's a huge amount of movement speed. And then uh, his his dashes from the wind orb and from his back dash are farther. Because he needs it. Because look at him. Without it, he's dead. Good. Good. <laughs> oh, okay. He's actually dead. I think he's actually dead. No, he's not actually dead. But this is going to be exceptionally close. Look, good blocks. Yo, the mash out. A bar A. Okay. He wants to switch. Yep. Pick this up. Nice. Yo, please. This is so scary. Oh, okay. no. What a whip so He might be able to kill. He should be able to with the super. No. Oh. Yeah. yeah OTG. Oh, OTGs. Huh? Okay. I don't know how I think much this is dead. I don't know how much damage this it super does. It should do like 200 at uh, max scaling, I think. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 I don't know if minimum scaling on supers is the same for every character. I know Inquisitors is 200. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, me neither. I'm not entirely sure, and I know that Striker doesn't have like a super low health pool. So. Oh, big whip punish. Yeah. Scary. Nice. Gonna be the corner loops. A lot of damage. Oh, fell out of it. Good block on the die pick, though. The arm working its way out of the corner. Frame trapping. Good I guard like cancel, that. though. I like that guard cancel. Waited until he was gonna ensure that there couldn't have been a bait. The arm, though, has a massive meter advantage. He can afford to kind of go ham, and he does, and gets the guard break. Cashes out a boatload of gray health. Yeah. yeah. This is going to be a monumental amount of damage here. Okay, I like that back off. Guard cancel. Okay, double red cooking, spacing out. The shield. He tried to get that 2L in there. He yeah. tried so hard to like just sneak that 2A. Oh no. Oh. Got it, safe. Yo, he's dead. What? What? He, he was dead. Now he's now he's dead, but he was dead. Oh, I'm Stuff down. happened. We're at 2-2. Two, two. I don't I don't actually know what happened there. Yeah, you and me both, man. I mean, hey, it ended up working out for shenanigans too. Any at the end of the day, but yeah, shenanigans kind of kind of bailed out. Uh, the arm didn't. The one time shenanigans didn't try to punish, the arm didn't cancel his DP on block. Right. And then just a couple scramble situations happened. The arm stopped moving for a moment. Got hit by the run up button. Yo, the slide actually just got rid of the shield. And now he's eating 50%. I don't even know if that was the slide. I think that was actually 2L uh, or 2A, oh, yeah. whatever. Oh, like you uh, ran into 2A. Yeah, yeah, which is what, that's exactly what Armando tried to do in the prior round that he got smoked for. Uh-huh. Oh, yes. Good guard cancel. He actually, be, he has so much MP that he still has a pretty big MP advantage. I don't think he can kill here. No, I don't think he can. Knock down. Empty jump grab. Yep. Okay, yeah. And we haven't seen that layer of the mix coming out of the arm not, yet tonight. So. Yeah, not quite yet. And I mean, like, we saw it once earlier uh, in one of his sets, but not something that he's doing a lot. But All right, to be able to sneak under the projectile, doesn't get the full pickup, still has the pressure in the corner, frame trapping with the magic. Spending a lot of MP here, all the way to exhaustion. Now yeah. a shenanigans turn. Look at all that gray health that got yeah. built up, though. Yeah, and now it's coming back down. Feeling okay. Okay, look at all that damage coming out from shenanigans now. Oh, and yes, again, that setup, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, this 
I recognize it this time. I, it probably would have hit me as a player still. Still, yeah. But, but at least as a commentator, I realized it was the setup. <laughs> I think I heard Alpaca just go, no, like out in the crowd. Yeah. Because this is so disastrous for him. I don't know. No, Look he's at not the dead. red. Oh, oh, the delay DP and the arm ran into it. And this is turned all the way around. It is match point for both players yeah, now. This is really scary. And first so hit, the 2B going to shenanigans. Going to get a full combo here. About 35, 40% by the time it's done. If he doesn't drop, there it is. Okay. Oh, ended up falling out of it. And the 2B right back at you. Oh, no. Finds the back throw, though. Good. Oh my god. This is so scary for Yeah, this now. is anyone's anyone's round. It might look like the arm has a lead, but he barely does. Yeah, yeah. Because if Shenanigans is able to find that hit and get a side switch, dude, it's so scary. Oh. And guard break is starting to become an issue, but the arm has no MP and the raw button! I don't think he can kill off of No, this. I think he can. Yes, if oh. he can get the wall bounce into the super, this is dead. He doesn't even do wall bounce, just run up. OTG. Dude, OTG. he didn't even need the super. Oh Are you kidding? God, that was so dude. much damage. He didn't even have oh, to spend dude. a super. What a route. <laughs> arm, arm popping off, dude. See, as you said oh. earlier, this is a game where you just have so much fun losing it. Because <laughs> Arm walked away just laughing and just yelling, popping off. Let's go, shenanigans. That I was insane. can't believe that route from shenanigans. That did so much damage, and he still could have done a super after the tornado. He could have, exactly. He could have. And that's why I was saying, like, I don't even think that he needs to wow, <laughs> super. Wow, wow, wow. I don't think that he needs to get the wall bounce because he could just super, but he did. He did the whole thing. That was insane. All right, so a pocket 21 coming in on the winner's side. He needs to win a single three out of five to take this tournament. Shenanigans, much longer road. He's going to have to first win a, a three out of five set to bring Alpaca to losers with him, and then another one in order to actually take the bracket. Yeah. Uh, let me go pay the Dragon Ball players. I'll be right back. I guess, I guess. Take their anime money. For Toei comes and snatches it. All right, so we're in here. Game one at Grand Finals. Berserker, not going to see the Berserker uh, mirror shenanigans sticking with the Swift Master. Both players with the vacuum. Apaka, first solid hit here. Going to get 35%. Has the Oki. Nice delay DP, though. Shenanigans with the good timing. Able to turn around. My turn to play now. Evening up the life. Has a bit of a lead now. Nice roll through, but Shenanigans actually very ready for the rolls on top of the punish. Not a lot of MP to work with. He's going to get the OTG. I don't think he can kill here. Goes for the mix. Good block by Alpaca. Finds the grab, though. That's going to close out game one. Alpaca had not the worst situation if he could have survived that sequence, but going to have to go back to the drawing board here. Finds the 2B at round start. Guard cancel, able to escape the situation. Nice whip punish. There you go, clearing that great health with the MP move. Good block on the overhead, but got open up low. It just comes at you so fast. Apaka out of MP. Not going to be able to kill here. Does have the Oki. Going to just choose to back off, try to rebuild a little bit of meter here. And the 2B caught him moving forward. Shenanigans reel back in his chair a little bit on that one. All right, I'm back. All right, one round apiece. Nice. Are you serious? Yeah, you already missed almost a full game. <laughs> Holy crap. Dude. Oh, Shenanigans, okay. He's sticking with the Swift Master in this matchup. Not trying to run the mirror, I see. Score cross me. These the DP timings for Shenanigans, he has just enough delay on them each time. Yeah, yeah. It's been working out very perfect for him. Oh my god! Ooh, it still hit! Is Why it, was uh, that still active? Outreach break, it's just so long. It's so huge. It's problematic. And now he might And that's not dead. his only move like that. His DP oh. is also like that with the just massive active frames. Goes for the command grab. Nice jump out. Doesn't yeah. have to punish. Good jump out. Shenanigans has full MP to be able to work with. And, and I think honestly, he's got to go for the guard break. Alpaca's guard break or guard gauge is not full. I'd like to see shenanigans just start blowing some MP. He might be dead. Yeah. 
It, he's going to get the wall bounce, OTG. I think it's going to be with Super. Super, no? yes, yes. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's dead. Did you see that tweet where it's just like, I love watching a, a, a game where, you know, it's super tense and each character is one touch from dead and you yeah, just yeah, shenanigans yeah, yeah. at one, one, one <laughs> Yeah, and the other, the other Crusader player is like full health or whatever. <laughs> that was nuts, dude. Good stuff to shenanigans taking game one. Still a long road to climb against Alpaca. Nice. Finds the 2B, open up low. Yeah, Bloodsword didn't end up Oh, dead. this is dead. This is definitely dead. Yeah, mountainous kills. Not bad. Okay, good return fire from Alpaca, where <laughs> it's just one touch, basically. Nice back dash, doesn't have the whip punish. Oh, Ooh, no! Ooh. Not the best DP from Alpaca here. Gonna get punished for it. A little bit of a drop, and he gets the slice push and finds the counter hit, flies out. Gonna get El Combo here. This time the overhead opens him up, spending the conversion for the mix. A little bit of a drop. Oh, nice. Look at that Grey Life that's being built up on Shenanigans, too. That said, Grey Life in this game recovers pretty quickly. If he doesn't find an MP move to cash this out, Shenanigans is gonna get a good amount of it back still. There oh, it is. No. Vacuum has it covered. And he was in Awakening because he had dropped himself below spending some health, so he does get to do the super and he's gonna close out this game. Yeah, it's, it's insane how Berserker has got the ability to do that while also at his being Yeah, he just did offense. an awakening super with like 35% health. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, being on offense too, so he just like puts himself into awakening, you can do nothing about it, you know? Where's the counter boy? Counter boy is he's dying, I guess. Nice. The mix, oh! Interesting. Yeah, a little early on it. Yeah, I wonder if that was intentional. Oh, yeah, nice. like to fake oh. it, come down with a low or something. Okay, another conversion. Point. Is it weird that I'm surprised that Swiftmaster doesn't have a fastball? <laughs> yeah, I. Well, he does. Well, he has to have the window about. Yeah, that's yeah. it. But like a genetic. But like, like an adult Gohan, like a you yeah, know. He should. I give it to him. He needs it. <laughs> All right, Blood Sword to push him all the way back. Nice air to air, but Alpaca taking advantage in the scramble. Gonna get the knockdown here. Doesn't do the fireball. He chooses to just run forward, push the corpse towards the corner. There you are, full screen. That guard gauge is looking meaty and there though. It's a successful guard cancel, but he's gotta be careful. Bro. Yeah, if he gets hooked in, this is guaranteed gun block stun, yeah. yeah. Nice, and he didn't do the second hit of 2B so he could recover in time. That was... Good awareness by Alpaca, but hopefully he's not dead now. No, he's there, now he is. Now. now he's dead. Look how fast these games are going. Already, game three is going to be over. Shenanigans closing it out. Ooh, didn't even need super for it, too. Okay, shenanigans game two for game three. Yeah. yeah, we're three games into this set already. It's been like 45 seconds. Yeah, this is nuts. Yeah, like you said, this game can this is, go. I have to burn this recording. This is the shit that people will start asking for like three out of five for. Oh, they yeah. see this set. Yeah, this. But, but ignore everything from earlier about how long some of those sets were, for sure. Okay. He's still fine. He's still in a very healthy spot. Nice, the DP coming out from the alpaca, and now the Bloody Twister is a threat. There it is, conversion. Oh, with the 5B, put him in spot. Didn't get to capitalize, but heavy, but oh, the wind orb. Okay, there you go. Outreach break did, didn't last long enough for Shenanigans to just walk into that one, but there it is, the mock punch. Tight knuckle. <laughs> okay. Shenanigans at reset point here now. He got here fast. 5B, starting it. Oh, no. I mean, like, he's still fine, he's still healthy, but this is... Admittedly, Alpaca just wants to get to Awakening as fast as possible so he gets access to, like, the threat, right? He wants to heal. He wants his danger. This is definitely, uh, yeah. This is now a one-touch game for both characters. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, he missed the Ghost Slash! It, it's fine. He, that's it. Alpaca's it's got the round. Yeah. yeah. No! Oh, he missed the Ghost Slash with the Command Grab! Go across. 
And an oh, oh that, my god. That was nasty. That was so nasty. Okay. Alpaca turning the scramble situation around. It's still a uh, reset point here for shenanigans. Yeah. With big whip punish with the 5L. I can tell he's a little worried too. Alpaca spent big the time. Big bait. Yeah, huge bait. Now this is going to be a big punish. Alpaca shaking it off, and now he knows that he's got this in the back. Big damage coming out here. Conversion route. He's going to go for the max MP, max health route here. Dude, look at that. What is this you see combo? That you see that red? <laughs> so much. He's still losing that red from that whole combo. Yeah, it's got to be careful. That's 200 meter so on much. If your shenanigans, especially with no meter available to guard cancel, I would start dumping MP and see if you can guard break in here. Oh, the oh. guard cancel bait. And Alpaca evening it up two to two. And we're going to see, you know, that that round before this one was a bit of a mental gut punch for Shenanigans. We'll see how he recovers from this because he was on reset points. Yeah, it had to have been, like, really, really shaking his mental because now he's, like, really questioning how he wants to tackle the neutral because of how much Alpaca is throwing out. And he's willing to, like, back up. Oh, nice. He's willing to back off Pop Frenzy and, like, it's still just threat of Twister, which now there's a lot of how Shenanigans wants to push up. But now he's getting this combo. Mix up. up. Yeah, good block from Alpaca. He, he goes for high every time, so now he's going to have to start really mixing up. I don't know if he can get down to the ground for another mix, though, really. Like, I, I feel like it's a fake whiff to make you think he has, you know, you, you can punish. Yeah, it must be, right? Okay, trying to cash out. Oh, but drop, and this is so scary. This is really scary for shenanigans right now. The guard cancel, and he's still in frenzy. One hit, and he is so screwed. There it is, man grab. Score cross meaty. He's going to find that point of frenzy here. Oh, oh that's it. No. Straight into super. Yep, there Alpaca it is. moving on to tournament point here. This is so scary for shenanigans, man. He was right there. He was right there to take it into the reset point. But now Alpaca could run away with it. Round two. There we go. What's going to happen here? Full screen frenzy pop. And look at it. He dumped it all at the round start situation. Okay. Yeah, you might be right. It might not be like a mix-up high-low situation. It might just be like... I, I feel like it's a visual noise, like a fake a fake whiff to make you think you could push a button and then he counter hits you on the way down. Yeah, it could just be like a meaty overhead situation. Oh, man. But look at all of that life that he consumed for himself. I am curious if it's a safe jump. Oh, oh no, runs yeah. to the vacuum. This is, again, now a one-touch situation. Over. The overhead, I don't know. This might be dead. It, it he has a well, lot of MP still. Yeah, it very well could be. He has a lot of MPs. He's got the health he wants. OK, no. Okay. Yeah, I guess it wasn't in the right position to be able to do like uh, oh, That's nice. it. Wrap it up. Wrap Definitely it up. Dead. Tournament over. GG's congrats to Alpaca. Yeah, good stuff to Alpaca. Studying the game so hard, super excited, and now wins the first local. And most importantly, duel. I feel way better about him beating my ass the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking it was like some bill shit, like all oh, this game is just. No, wild. I was it, discouraged. Oh, I yeah? was so I was so far out of that set that I was like, I don't know if this game's for me. Yeah, I, I, I completely <laughs> understandable, especially with how chaotic this game can be. Like. It's, it's going to be a long road of learning for everybody involved, but, you know, we're all here learning together, and I think that the first locals yeah. are going to be a lot of, you know, questions for us to ask and answer. So, I don't all know. Right. This game is great, man. This game is fun. I'm having fun. Well, that's going to be it for tonight. Uh, I believe they're about to start Grand Finals for Strive over on Low Kick Esports, so I'm going to wrap this up. We'll get out of here, and I'll send you over there. You guys can catch the rest of Guilty Gear Strive. So thanks, everyone, for hanging out. We'll be back in two weeks, most likely with Grand Blue on this channel. Correct. Uh, so thanks to Seth for helping me out on commentary. Thank you for And uh, hope you all have a good night. Peace out, guys. Where's my thing? How do I get out of here? <laughs>